behind a computer monitor? No, we're in a real set. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Yard Sale. I am Paul Shear. I'm Rob Hubel. Thanks for, for being here. This, this is, is bananas. Nuts. I mean, we started doing our show on Twitch uh, behind computers. This is the first time I've ever seen you in real life. <laughs> what is this? The car. What is that? It's a Hyundai. It's we're going to give that away. You, you take it. You One of you guys have it. One of you people are going to walk off with that and you're gonna stop walking and start driving. All right, we're gonna give that away tomorrow night. Yeah, uh, the show is Celebrity Yard Sale. It's the only show that I know of that fuses America's favorite pastimes, celebrities and going through people's weird crap. Yeah, I mean, basically what's gonna be happening tonight is real celebrities are coming on with real objects, things from their house that you are gonna get a chance to go home with. Or We'll send it to your home soon. I don't I know how we actually are going to get it. I'm not going to drive it to your house. But if you see something you like that a celebrity has, you can bid on it. But the catch is, you don't need any money. We know it's the holidays and you're probably broke. You don't have money. It's Friday night. You're watching Twitch. <laughs> you're poor. And that's okay because yeah. money isn't important. What's important here is guessing, okay? You have to guess Price is Right style the value of the object that our celebrity is bringing. And the person who gets closest to that value without going over gets it. That's it. That, Done. That's all we needed to explain, right? That we don't need to legal. The lawyers are looking at us like, make sure it's clear. We get it. It's, it's clear. very clear. Look, we're on a set. We're professional people, all yeah. right? The only thing you need to know is that uh, the value of every item yeah. will be determined by our yard sale appraiser. appraiser. She's an expert in art. Boom. Antiques. Yes. Priceless gems. Got it. As well as weird stuff like broken toys. Yes. Ironic t-shirts yes. with mustard stains on them. This sounds like my childhood. And other weird crap that you would find in someone's garage. Please say hello to Eva Anderson. Boom. Hey. Welcome, Eva. Look at this. Hey, guys. Yes. Look it's, at this. This looks very breakable. <laughs> <laughs> we will break this by the end of the show. Yes. Uh, so talk to us about what you're going to be doing. Because we didn't know when we asked you to come to the show that you actually, you like celebrity junk. Yeah, I'm a hardcore celebrity auction enthusiast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is that actually? There's a whole is, yeah. subculture there. There is. I've been to a bunch of celebrity auctions. Uh, we actually met at a celebrity auction once. Yes. It was very, I mean, it was... You could say it. it was it Michael, was Michael Jackson. Jackson. Michael Jackson. We auction. all went to Michael Jackson's auction. Celebrity yes. auction. Let's edit, edit, we'll edit that out later. Yeah, we'll we edit can't edit it out because it's live. But I we don't do live TV. All right. Well, oh, wait. Then, then we, got, we got to talk. I don't Rob, do this. This is, is all live. Taped. This will all be taped. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. So we went there and it was kind of amazing because it's like everything is up for auction, like from photos to toilet seats. It's like everything is fair game yes everything he ever touched or owned yeah and and the prices are insane like what is some of the items that you've seen that kind of have shocked you well i don't just have to, i own because of my hobby five <laughs> framed photos of a dog that elizabeth taylor owned named sugar <laughs> Of course who's been you dead for that. 15 years. I own okay. five individual photos of sugar. So, a lot of people think that's depressing, but it's not. It's awesome. Okay, wait, so, so Elizabeth Taylor framed five photos of her dogs that they may have even put together. They may have been around the house. And now where are they in your house? They're all all over my house. And you know, I don't have any photos of my own dog. No. I just have photos of a dog I never met. Oh, but from sure. going to all those weird auctions, you supposedly have an expertise in gauging the value of weirdo items, right? Absolutely. Okay. All right. And I have a magnifying glass. That's all you need. And look, your prices can be off. You are going to be, I mean, who knows? I mean, who? Like somebody's 
you know, uh, somebody's toilet seat could be $5. It could be $150,000. We yeah. don't know. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. But there's going to be lots of cool oh, celebrities oh dropping by. Oh, wait, wait a second. All right, every time our Hyundai honks its horn, that means that our guest has arrived. Oh, my gosh. Eva, who is our guest? From Hulu's Welcome to Chippendales, which is kind of like Boogie Nights and Scarface in the world of male stripping, it's Kumail Nanjiani. Uh -huh. Kumail! Hey. Hi. 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 Hey. 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 Great. A very wow. professional show. I can't believe I get to do this show and mm. get that car as famous. How long? No, 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 no. You don't get the car. We're going to give that car away. Well, no. then why am I doing this? Oh, no. This is, you see, Rob, I told but you. But you're not going to give it away to me. Wait, hold on. No. Did I told you to write an email really clearly. We, Paul gonna... very clearly stated, show up, bring a red car home. Uh, you see, <laughs> you, I, I, you know, and I am, and that's my fault. I'm a little dyslexic, so I when I write emails, it, it does come off weird. They come off back. <laughs> Uh, Kamel, you're our inaugural guest on this show that, I mean, we want to see your junk. And I feel like everyone... Whoa, 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 yeah. that came out wrong. Whoa, oh, yeah, right. Sorry. That is not for sale. <laughs> I don't want her guessing the cost of that. <laughs> we, I, I'm excited to see what you brought because I feel like the scope of your career is really interesting. I don't know if you brought something from your career or just like an old toaster. It could be anything. So it is career. So I brought uh, three things and two are sort of bonus items and then it's sort of the real thing. Oh, right? yeah. Okay, let's so see. So the first thing, it's like a couple, uh, I'll build up to the big okay, thing. Okay, right. The first great. thing I got is an action figure from a movie I was in. Whoa. Whoa. And it's my face. My face is right there. Now, did they um, do like a mold of your face? Did like someone come with lasers and get your face for this? They action? do. You go, you go into a room and there's like, I forget how many cameras, but there's cameras all over and you stand really still. I and love this. So it looks exactly like me. And who doesn't want a little me in their house? Okay. I of love course. this. I was Way so better than some dead dog's picture. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited because I went over to my uh, nephew's house for uh, Thanksgiving and they had a little uh, one from like a Happy Meal of you. Yes. It's a very, it's a very, it's a mini you. It's yeah, like a, yeah, it's, it's got a big head. <laughs> I, I actually went to McDonald's for the first time in a long time. <laughs> When you go, like when you see that in the store, do you ever just like hang out near it and just kind of go just like make that face? <laughs> yeah. Like that. What's up, kids? Yeah. <laughs> you know <who> that? <laughs> I'll sign it. That's bananas, man. That you um, have. That. I love this. It's this really is fun. fun. This is okay. a great one. So that's like not this. the one where that's not the the, the big no, one. Nah, nah, that you, know, this, you can buy. You can buy. That you buy, can buy, you can buy, buy that. Yeah. Walk into a store, buy that. And how much money? When out of every one of those sold, how much money do you get in your pocket? Like. 20 bucks, like for each, like a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks per figure? hundred bucks? <laughs> yeah, they sell for We want to know the deal. <laughs> Marvel <No>. is losing <laughs> money. <laughs> Marvel really said they forgot to sign one very big stipulation in the contract. Right, right, right. <laughs> I put in a little hundred bucks per figure, and so far so I've made the, 400 bucks. The wow. George Lucas deal. <laughs> yeah, I got the George Lucas deal. It's just two people. <laughs> Kamel Nanjani, George Lucas. Um, the next thing, is I was on a show called Silicon Valley for yes. many years yeah. on um, on HBO. Yes. And uh, we had a company called Pied Piper on that. Yeah. So this is Whoa. a pi Whoa. this is a wrap gift from that. So you can't buy this okay. because it says HBO on the back. Very this cool. Is this from is the company, the Pied Piper company. Let's get that. Right Very there. cool. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. So. So that's not like something you can, it's also not something you can buy. It's, it's, and this is actually a good looking a hat because I feel like what people don't realize is sometimes when you work on TV shows and movies, you get very ugly rap gifts that you could never wear out in public. Like what like, kind of yeah. stuff? What did I get? Like, um, like, <laughs> like it's emblazoned with the show's name. Like you could wear this. Like, yeah, yeah, if it said Silicon it, Valley, you couldn't wear that in public. If it's it would subtle, be weird. it's cooler yes. yeah, than saying like crew. You know, Silicon Valley season two. Like you right, wore your right. Norbit sweatshirt all the time. <laughs> you were you were. I was Norbit? in the movie. No big deal. I mean, I was in the movie Norbit, and, uh, <laughs> but they did have like a cool hoodie that was just like a really obscure image from the movie that no one knew what it was. But I feel like that's the way to go with like rap. That is and good. Swag. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, it could say Norbit, and people still wouldn't. People really. wouldn't know. I just got zinged. I don't know why I'm I got I, I, no. <laughs> going, going hard. I, I have a comfortable sweatshirt that I got from Black Monday and I was wearing it around. 
and I forgot that on the back it just said Black Monday on it, <laughs> and, uh, and I was called out on an airplane wearing it. What did they say? They were like, "Hey, like your sweatshirt," and I was like, "Oh, oh I'm right. that guy." I'm like, it's yeah. like it would be like walking into like Kawhi Leonard wearing like a Clippers jersey like at the mall. Like it's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't don't wear that out there, <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, and you are the Kawhi the Leonard choir, yeah, of yeah, Black like, Monday. As everyone said says all that, that about you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm uh, constantly injured. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> no, no, I, no, why oh, did he do that? I'm not cool. Huge, Don't I'm you love cool. the Clippers? I do, I do, and I'm a huge Kawhi fan, and I literally said the other day, why are people giving him a hard time? He tore his ACL, let him heal. I do believe yeah, that. Yeah, I just went for a joke. It's live, and I, I'm sorry, Kawhi. Kumail, this is off topic, but what do you get the most when people spot you? Like when you're going through the airport, do people, are they still, do they go Silicon Valley? Oh my God. Or do they go Eternals or what do they say? It's sort of proximity. So like when it yeah. was Eternals came out for a few months, it was Eternals. And then after Obi-Wan, it was Obi-Wan. And now it's, it's really sort of, it's a Silicon Valley. A lot. Yeah, and yeah. you know what I get still is Franklin and Bash, which is a show I did. See, yeah. Whoa! Deep yeah, cut. way back. Yeah, 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 super deep cut with Breck and Meyer and Mark Paul Gossler. Yeah. But those are the shows that oddly so many, like I was on Wheel of Fortune. Everyone in my family watched Wheel of Fortune more than anything that I've been in in like years. Really? Like, oh, like my my dad, I don't think, has ever watched an episode of Black Monday, but he he knew about that Wheel of Fortune. I didn't even tell him about it. People love he was the wheel. there, he People was like, I got it DVR ready to I go. I mean it's the a wheel. great show. All right, let's see your big <laughs> yes. thing. Okay. Again, okay, came here out we go. wrong, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> show us okay, so, your junk. <laughs> so again from Silicon Valley, okay, there yeah. was a storyline in season, I forget what number of season it was, but it was a great storyline yep. where we our company partners with an investor who is sort of this douchey guy who has an energy drink company. Yeah, yeah. And the energy drink is called Homicide. Okay. And so I stole I from set a can of Whoa! Homicide. Yes. Um, this is actually set dressing. You cannot buy this. A real That's prop. amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm not supposed to swear, but it says, you know, the tagline of the thing is the energy drink that doesn't give up. We'll edit, edit it, it out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> edit it yeah. out. We look at, look right at the, the artwork on that. Yeah, like, the artwork's really, really, really cool, too. I mean, she's like, <laughs> that's so... And it's yeah. got like, uh, it's got brass knuckle knife in there. It's got some weight so to that's, it, too. So that's a yeah. one of a kind. So, I mean, I don't know how to appraise things, but I would say that's probably valuable. You can't get this. I mean, it's hugely valuable, but you know what? We're going to bring it over to our appraiser. Yeah. Uh, so tell us, just based on what you know, it's a exclusive prop. It's never... It's never been made. It's never what, been wait, given whoa, 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 Eva. What, what are you looking for with the magnifying glass? I'm, like, well, it's going to take a minute. This has good bones, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, I can start with a range. I can give you a range of where I think it's going to land. Oh, okay. I'd say it's between like $212 and $1,543. Okay, okay, that's a huge range. Now, this that's is a huge range. Yes. So you might as well say this costs money. <laughs> <laughs> well, this range is actually good because the way this is going to work is if you want to bid on this item, okay, you got to roll your mouse over to the right side of the screen and there's going to be a little extension there and you can mm -hmm. bid, okay, based on that extension. So you're going to hit that extension and you're going to bid within the range of... $212 or $1,543. Okay, so get your bidding going right now because in a second we're going to reveal who got closest to the actual Really? Value. That's exciting. And I want to yeah. stress again, you know, this is not, this was made for the show. I wasn't supposed to steal it. I stole it. Would you get in trouble yeah. for stealing? Are, are we, are we going to get in trouble? You won't. Okay. But I might get in trouble because okay. um, I was not supposed to have it. <laughs> okay. I took it. So it's a stolen item. Mm -hmm. It's a one-of-a-kind item. We can't sway you any more than that, but it's going to be falling in that price range. So everybody can bid right now. And while you evaluate it, we're going to talk to Kamel a little bit more. Uh, well, this is awesome. I'm so excited because, yes, you've been on these great shows. But the show that I'm loving is your brand new show on Hulu, Welcome to Chippendales. You're fantastic in it. Oh, thank you. And everyone says it. Cool. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, I feel like there's been, like, this, like, oh, my God. And oh. he's amazing. I feel like everything oh. I read is about how great you are, and I agree. Camille, oh, I'm going to do the thing on talk shows that no one has the guts to do and tell you that I have not seen it. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen it, but I've 
heard great things about Why it. About you should it. say tell them one thing that you like about it. Oh, I I yeah, what's love your favorite? it. Where when the guys start ripping the breakaway pants. Oh, it's a it's, it's a story point. I mean, <laughs> he's got it. I mean, I love breakaway pants. Uh, I own several pairs of breakaway pants. Everybody knows that about me. We actually own two pairs now. Do you really? <laughs> yeah, we actually have to. I posted a video of Emily trying a breakaway pant for the first I time. I saw that. I saw. It. But but that but this is a true story of the guy that started Chippendales. Yeah, so the guy who started Chippendales was this Indian immigrant. Uh, uh, which I didn't know, but also what I didn't know is that in the first 15 years behind the scenes of Chippendales, there are multiple murders, yeah. arson, all. Whoa. It's a really wild story. This guy kind of, you know, went drunk with power and uh, people were taking hits out on other people. Multiple people got murdered behind the scenes. And it Holy starts God. off so sweet because your character wants to start a backgammon club. Your yes. backgammon club, which is failing miserably, turns into a giant male uh, strip club, I mean, what'd you call it, a strip club or a dance club? It's sort of a male review. <laughs> it's, and I always feel like, is it weird? I always know when you shoot these scenes, you know, it looks amazing on camera because there's music playing and everyone's yeah, dancing. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of the times, there's no music playing. No. And you're just watching people silently dance. People silently dance and the audience silently lose their mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, now, but I will say, yeah. every time they yelled cut, the audience, for real, and these are, you know, background artists, extras, yeah. just, we told them don't make a sound. Yeah. When they yelled cut, every single time they went wild. Really? Every single time they were like, <laughs> like it, was, it was like you really felt it. There was one woman who had to, like, rip, uh, rip off somebody's pants, one of oh, the yeah. st strippers' pants. And every single time, she turned into an animal. Completely, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's hard to contain it because you're not used to doing that and to, to hold that in. It's got to yeah. come out. And, uh, yeah, and the dancers were great and, you know, all that. So it's really, really, it was really exciting shooting it. I, I, shooting I wonder it. if women behave differently than men in uh, strip clubs. Well, how do men behave in strip clubs? Well, you know, cool. you know. No. <laughs> yeah, they have real cool. <laughs> Super cool. No, I feel like, I mean, I haven't been to a strip club. I lived in Atlanta. You've been to a strip club for at least 48 hours, I've right? been <laughs> with you. The only time I've been to a strip club was with you. I, you, you know, that's, that? I did, that's yes. the only time. Only where, time. Where, where can we say I, in uh, Portland? In Portland. Okay. Yes, and that was, but that's like I think a, not even a rite of passage. It seems, but that was like depressed. Something happened there. I don't remember. Do you it remember was, what it was? I don't. I remember. I do. it was, yeah, it was. It was. We left in a. What was it? <laughs> the Hyundai <laughs> people right now are going. Like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Bad. Was, we nobody yeah. did anything bad. No, we but left. We left. We were not there for a very long. Because time. it was depressing. Uh, do you guys are I do remember. Cagey. <laughs> Nobody I, did anything wrong. We Everybody won't name was names. Yeah. very respectful. Okay. What, what, Should I? Yeah, tell, I mean, you tell it. I mean, yeah. So, really? Okay, so yeah. it was my first time at a strip club. Yeah. I, you know, Emily was there. She now was it's your first time. Club. Before it was the only time. The it was story's the only changing. Time. <laughs> the story's changing. So at that point, I'm like, it's my first time. Okay. That's yeah, okay. what I'm thinking. Now, with the benefit <laughs> of hindsight, my only time. <laughs> It's our first time at the club, and I'm like, I, I don't, I, I, I don't know what to do. And so, yeah. a mutual friend of all of ours is like, I've been. Yes. Let me teach you how to do this. And yes. so he's sort of telling me, you like take the money, you give him money, whatever. And so I went and I gave the money and I came back and he said, and now you sanitize your hands. And he gave me. Oh and like a yes. Joke. And so I sanitize my hands, and then as soon as the dance is over. The lady who was on stage came downstairs with a huge, like, gallon of hand sanitizer yeah. and squeezed it all over the gentleman who had given me that advice. Yes. Angrily. Oh, like, 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 like F you. Like, yeah, you, do you think I'm... Um, right. Like, Dirty. I yeah, agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, you don't yeah. need sanitizer. It was, but that, that was, and then we left. And then we walked off. And then yeah. we left, and one of our friends... Kurt was in the bathroom, and when he came out, he was like, what? We're, Everybody's We gone. abandoned him. We abandoned him. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. That's that amazing. brings back, like, All now, right. I'll tell you this much. Uh, that is a memory I forgot and now remembered it in such a And you know who we're way. talking about. Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. This, is, uh, this, is, this, is, this is very dramatic, and uh, I feel like you're a really, like, dramatic, good at doing, like, comedy and drama. Ooh. And... Um, Paul and I, I was telling Paul before the show, like, I'm always looking for inspiration for, like, dramatic monologues. Yeah, okay. Rob's a great actor. And stuff. Thank you, Paul. And uh, you I, are. I agree. Thank you, you both. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I agree.
Um, thank you, Hyundai. And uh, <laughs> but uh, but so but so for so many great movies. I've had some great auditions for a lot of movies. But you know, a lot of times when you go into <laughs> when you go to audition for something, you have to have like a dramatic monologue. So I found. Uh, a monologue that I'd like to perform for you guys. Oh, oh yeah. And you guys can just tell me. Where, what is, what's the text? I mean, if you have to know, uh, do you know the Next Door app? You know, where oh, it's, yeah. it's like a neighborhood watch type yeah, yeah. thing, but uh, people post, you know, stuff going on in their neighborhood. Is, it's this, a, is this sponsored by Next Door? No, it's no, not. It's not? No, well, no, it's the rap no. app where people go to be racist. Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I'm going to do a non racist monologue that okay. I found on the Next Door Great. app. All right, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. <sighs> I'm nervous about this, and um, you shouldn't be, buddy. You got this. Yeah, thank He's you. great. He's an amazing actor. Uh, this God. is too bright. If I could get some dramatic lighting, please. oh wow! <clears throat> thank you, dear neighbor. Since you just moved into this neighborhood a year ago, I wanted to give you time to correct this problem on your own, but you are apparently too inconsiderate to do so. Every day this week. When the weather's been nice and the windows are open, you proceed to let your small child run free in your backyard and laugh and giggle and carry on without end. This is very disruptive for my two dogs and my bird who sit next to the window and they like to look into your yard. Perhaps you could ask your son to play more quietly or maybe limit his outside time to 15 to 20 minutes a day so my dogs can be outside in peace. If this kind of behavior persists, I will call the police. Wow. 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 That you. is amazing. That really Thank escalated. You. I want to know what Thank that you. call to the police will sound like. Thank you. Thank wow, you very that much. Was you know, yeah. now, now I'm watching. I'm like, I got to do that. I, 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 I want to do this. There's too. a lot of good stuff on next door. Uh, you know what? Actually, uh, I actually I had one as well. Great. So I uh, prepared them. Um, dramatic lights, please. <laughs> this next piece is entitled Hotspot. Hi, all. The other day, my grandson went to connect to the Wi-Fi and our neighbor's router's name is All Cops Are Buttholes. My wife and I are very upset because he started crying and we had to explain to him that indeed all cops are not buttholes. Is there any way I could possibly block the signal or, or maybe call the non-emergency police and have them go over and give them a stern warning? I bet they would not like to hear about a network called All Cops Are Buttholes. Any idea, guys? <laughs> wow. But, you, know, oh. it's, you know, it's, Woo. and that was a charged one. It's no, a very, I, yeah, got yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt I all chills. the stuff inside. Yeah. I, when you said you will not call the, the non-emergency non -emergency police, police. Yes. I really felt that. <laughs> yeah, I would love too. to call the non-emergency police just to say, like, there's a weird Wi-Fi name. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, um, I, I need my Wi-Fi. you want to try one? Yeah, you want to try one? Yeah. yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. Right, 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 I mean, right, I don't know yeah. how you're, no, I'm, uh, how dramatic I'll do a cold read. I'll do a cold read. All right, okay, cold yeah, read. Yeah, this go. is a cold read. you get to see it a right little bit. Right there in the prompter. Okay, here we go. This post is entitled, Suspicious Behavior. I saw my next door neighbor drive up to their house, open the garage door from inside of their vehicle and drive in. Then the door closed behind them. <laughs> Did anyone else see this? Does, does anyone know why? Typically, they park in the driveway. <laughs> it just makes me nervous. Why are they parking in the garage? Wow, you see, Kumail. I like that. Oh, wait, no, the tension came wow. in. Why wow. Are they why, are they, wow. Why are they parking in the garage? Well, that's a real philosophical question. Why what is, are they why, hiding? Why would that upset a neighbor? I, do, I don't <laughs> uh, get that one. I thought it was going to be that they think it's sorcery that the door is opening and closing on its own. <laughs> yeah, it's like there's clearly some bad things going on there. Like they, but they, The idea that they were watching someone pull into their driveway. That means yeah. you're, you're, you're doing too much monitoring. Yeah, they show up and they look, wait, 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 something new is about to happen. I didn't see anybody get out. Is there an invisible hand opening it? There must be a body in that car. They're transporting a dead body yeah, in that yeah. car. Yeah, why else would you use your garage clicker? <laughs> All right, um, All right. So Eva, the, yeah. you've had some time with yes. the very valuable, po potentially very valuable prop. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, is there... Is, is there like what do you what do you have any questions about it? You might like to help you. Get yeah, you your... can ask us some questions about it. Well, 
This says it has it has two servings per container. Mm. Oh, okay. That's going to affect the price. So does that mean now it's 414 to 2,000 and whatever the range has been doubled then and everybody's uh, screwed? I mean, it definitely increases the value. Oh, in my mind okay. This is good. From, what right. I, from Ooh, a baseline. Very valuable. Okay. All right. So the value is going up a little bit higher mm -hmm. and, uh, and you're feeling like, you know, the stolen quality, does that bring down the value? Stolen. Um, I mean, uh, you can't resell it without maybe alerting uh, the cops from next okay, door. Okay, got it. Okay, all right. Right. <laughs> non emergency. Um, non emergency, non -emergency cops. cops. It also says it's not recommended for pregnant women. So okay, that right. limits. Oh, women. that definitely limits. Wow. Okay. There's so many. How many people in the audience tonight are pregnant? Whoa, there's no way for you to talk to us. It's Twitch. Who? <laughs> yeah. Who's? It's majority yeah. pregnant women. Yeah. The majority yeah, right, is right, pregnant right. women. It's mostly pregnant. Right, right, right. Women. All right. Yeah. We, I'm just saying if they could have sex, why would they be on Twitch? <laughs> 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 All right. So. It's true. Uh, what do you think the value is? Tell us what the value is. You've determined the value. What is it? The value of this item is $868. $868. Oh, yeah. All right, who came closest to $868? Here we go. I got an envelope. Here we go. Oh, oh thank wow. you so much. Wow. Oh, oh, my God. oh let's this see who it is. I want it. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Eddie, you want to read it out? You yeah, can, I'll this read is it that out. One there. The first one. Doc Holiday. Doc Holiday. Doc oh, sorry. Holiday. <laughs> I looked at it though. Doc Holiday's. <laughs> you're walking away with that. You're walking away with a piece of stolen merch. Wow. And then we don't want to leave people priceless. So. So this one is Gobo Hoko. Gobo Hoko comes in I'm second. I'm surprised that we can read all of these handles. <laughs> yeah. And, and then uh, so it's Doc Holiday's Gobo Hoko, and the and third then, one goes to High Score Run. High Score, high score run. run. Three winners on the first one. My gosh. What a, what a great way to go, and we got to see some great acting. Camille, I'll tell you this much. I like your show so much that I'm not even wikipedia yes. what is happening. Episode well, 6 what airs episode this are they Tuesday. On right now? Episode airs, uh, 6 airs this Tuesday at, on Hulu. On Hulu. Uh, welcome to Chippendales. Really, really fun. And on January 3rd, you can binge the whole series. The whole series. But I would say catch up now. It's great. I've been enjoying it so much, but I, it's been so hard not to wikipedia but I, I really don't know. And six is where it really starts to ramp up. To. Okay. I mean, it's can all. I, I, can I ask? Yes, sir. Um, again, I'm sorry I haven't watched it, and I will. Will you? How, I will. Promise. I promise. Okay. I, where's the camera? I, I'm promising America or the world. I, I promise. Ha, I will. Promise Gobo Hoko. I promise <laughs> Gobo Hoko. Um, do they show actual male frontal nudity, or? Do, or don't spoil it. They don't show it. Okay. But that Chippendales never. They, they showed. Never, they yeah. never did. Okay. They never Classic. did. Oh, okay. Yeah, about. yeah. That's so their. So it's, it's really the, the you know there's like dancing and stuff and it's fun but it's really about the murder and the, the yeah and that's and that's yeah. him and look and a recreation of the Donahue set which I'm very excited I think this is episode yes, six of the New York. that's right. I'm wow, very he's excited. Really watching I'm watching. I know. It. I'm, I'm going really really to. I'm it. going to uh, give it up for our first guest. Come on, Donahue. Oh my gosh. Thank Welcome you. to Chippendales yeah. on Hulu. Watch it. Go Wait, on, Hulu, get them all. So Thank fun. you, Kumail. Thank all you right, for having us. Oh, give it up. Wow. Right, Wave to the car, Kumail. Oh, Wave to the car. All right, goodbye, car. All right, goodbye, See car. you later. I'm going to just put this down here right now. Just wow. Rob, um, let I me tell you something. Like, I feel like you got. I feel like you don't think I'm going to watch the show. I'm going to watch You seem really like you're You're trying to prove that you're going to watch the show. I, I'm, I, I promise you and I promise the Hyundai that uh, that I will watch the show. By the way, well, yeah, yeah. Can we say when, something? When, yeah. when do we give this away? Like pretty soon. Well, yeah. But I think right. if people don't know, we are actually giving away yeah. this car. This is a Hyundai Tucson, right? Yeah. And uh, I got to thank our sponsor because our sponsor are, is letting us do this show, this insane show that we came up with. They're like, we are behind it. Not only are we behind it, we're gonna let you give away one of our amazing. Look at this is a, a attractive car. Can I say something yeah. about this, Paul? Yeah. I don't often get the chance to be a good person, mm -hmm. but giving away a new car to someone is the epitome of being a good person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't yeah. get to go, like, you know, you see all those videos on Instagram. Well, you're not actually doing it. Hyundai is Well, doing it. but it's, it's, it's me, Paul. Okay. You know, like, I started to think about it. I started to think about, like, how good it's making me feel doing this. For one Sorry, of these does, people. Does this chair make too much noise? No, it's not squeaky at all. Oh, okay, good. Um, so, uh, but, but you know what, Rob? I, I think there's a way we can talk about this car. You know, we could we could tell you about all the amazing things it has. But 
who wants to just hear an ad, an ad read? We have a million ad reads. So what we actually did before the show, uh -huh. we asked people, how would you like us to do an ad? And uh, we actually collected them here in this box. So people submitted ideas for us to talk about the car in a cool, interesting way. Yeah, exactly. And I'm going to pick one at random. Okay. And whatever is in here, we have to do. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Rob. Is that a real laugh or a this fake is, laugh? This is a real laugh. Rob, you have to eat hot wings uh, while talking about the car. No, I'm not going to do that. You, wait, look, you have pick to. A, pick a different one. No, no, I, have, I picked it. I mean, we have to do it, right? Yeah. That's, this is by the law. This is the uh, law of Twitch. The, if the chat says do it, I don't, you have to do I, it. Let me tell you something. I'll eat anything. I don't eat hot wings. Like, it's not my thing. Do you, what, what do you mean? Well, you got, you got to do it. And by the way, they're going to be really hot, hot wings, as a matter of fact. Uh, my, stom I, my stomach's been really messed up lately. <laughs> Rob, I'm you not cannot let the chat down. All I mean, right, I'll do they it. They might start a hype I'll train do it. if you do Fine, it. Fine, I'll All do right. it. Sean, come on out here. Sean's got some hot wings that, uh, you know, I here they like are. I don't like this idea. Sean, I don't like this game. Right. I didn't agree to this legally. Sean, tell him about what he's got here. What kind of hot sauce is on there? Well, I'm not might, but okay. this is at least... Here, stand close to me. Did you not know you were coming on the set? This is at least a few million Scoville, I would say. And a Scoville is a what? A, a, a measure of heat, I would say. All right, I like that. Yeah, this is nice. All right, a measure good. of Thank heat. You. All right, so uh, one million Scoville, Rob. And wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So I got to eat these while reading about the car. You right, got to just right tell here? us about the car. Okay. And you have to eat do a I hot stand, wing. Where do I stand? Out stand, here? Stand in front of the car. Oh. But yeah, like, uh, yeah, right over here. You can stand right. Can I just say that I just became vegan. And so the idea <laughs> of eating an animal... You well, know, it's, and the, it's, but it's these a are small cute. Animal. Yeah, but chickens are, you know, they're smart. They're really smart. Yeah, they're so. They look they're smarter smart. than would, dogs. A chicken is smarter than a dog or a dolphin. Is that true? No. Okay, I will tell you this much. Um, is this bright enough? For I you? think that most most chickens would like to come back as a hot wing. All right. All right. So, so you're gonna. What, eat do I, it. what do I have to do? All right. So this is uh, the hottest hot wing, and this is. We're, and by the way, just so everyone knows, we're not ripping off hot ones. This is not a rip off of hot ones. Okay. Just so you know. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> Rob, eat a, eat a hot wing. Let me just try. All right. <laughs> I love it. All right, here we go. I really don't like this. I don't like spicy Oh, I love it. I love it. Behind us. Oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Behind us is the incredible Hyundai Tucson. Yes. Why do we love it so much? <laughs> it's an SUV that we both love. Ow! <laughs> yes. Oh, no, no. Wait, does that have like a, an entertainment player inside? It's an SUV. That, shut up. Okay. It's an SUV that we both love because truly it does it all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's wait, so but... comfortable for those long rides. It has an incredible entertainment system for every mile of your drive. And it's also easy to own thanks to hybrid and plug-in options. Oh, so you can plug it in. And, and what are we going to do with it? Well, the best part is, ah, I'm so sorry, little guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this one's not even dead. The best part <laughs> is we're good. giving it away tomorrow. Boom. You could drive off in a oh, no, <laughs> seriously, no seriously. You could drive off in a brand new two, Hyundai Tucson for free. Yes. The tuning information is on the screen right now. All you have to do is show up to the show <laughs> and use hashtag Hyundai Tucson in the chat when we tell you to do it. Oh my oh. gosh, Rob! Oh, <laughs> that you did it. You completed the challenge. I didn't like that. You completed the challenge. You did a great job. I didn't like it. Can we get him some water? Can we get him some water in here? You know, Rob. I didn't um, like it at all. Uh, you know, uh, I got to tell you, sometimes my friends, uh, yeah. your friends, you know, you get in these moments with them where you go, oh my gosh, that person is dead to me. Uh, you know who's going to be dead to me? I think I know who you're going to say. Our next guest, Jerry O'Connell, who decided to bail at the very last That's second. That's not true. Where? Where he, does that say? Does that say that in the he, prompter? He is not he doesn't say here. That. Jerry O'Connell has... Jerry's been, not here. Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. This is a message to Jerry O'Connell. How coming, dare you? We're coming for you, Jerry. How dare you? We're coming for you. A live show you cancel after we go on air before we can even respond to a text? Jerry, Come on. Jerry, I just ate some hot wings, and I'm coming to your house to throw up all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's so, okay. It's okay. We have plenty of show here. Um...
But I want to kind of play a little bit of a game because we have this set, this amazing set. Yeah. We haven't even really looked at all of this cool stuff yeah, that we, we got, got too. Look at this. All right. Barbecue. Nice. Can I show too? Yeah. I made this. Oh yeah, Rob, show your art. This is actually this. great. I made this and I'll, I'll happily give it away to you. you Are you going to give this away? Is this going to be part of your... Yeah. I'll make, I don't know who wants this. Maybe my mom. I like, Rob has been experimenting in watercolors. Do you do any art or anything like that? Oh. Um, These are acrylics. No. Oh, they're acrylics. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I actually brought something too. Let me see. Uh, we'll see what the chat wants to give away. Uh, can I have my item out here too? Uh, I'm going to show my item. And uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, this is an item that June, my wife, uh, wanted out of the house. Uh, <laughs> why, uh, why would she ever want that right, out so of the house? So this is what my wife said I could not have in my house. Um, we got close up to this. This is a Venom pool. It's a Deadpool and Venom. And I have uh, small children. And my wife said, we'll n if you display this in our house, I will divorce you. <laughs> uh, and I, I think it's a very, I mean, it's a beautiful, I mean, look how beautiful Have your it kids is. ever wanted to play? I don't really want to. Have your kids? <laughs> It's, it's so hard. moist. It's, it is it's, moist. It's surprisingly moist it, <laughs> for a toy. It, have your kids ever uh, wanted to play with this? I don't. I think they would be frightened out of their mind. Uh, the fact that it has a gun, everything about it is is truly frightening on every level. Maybe my wife. Okay, is so right. so people are going to bid on this potentially. Potentially, people will bid on this. You know, uh, I mean, we have a lot of stuff that we can we can put on set, but we don't even have to talk about that yet because I've found so much fun stuff on set. We actually have a box of photos, I think, somewhere around here. Is it around here? You know, because I think you found it, right, Rob? But yeah, I was digging through our our garage, uh, and but, uh, well, you know what? If it's not here, we can actually even. Uh, I I know we pulled a couple photos that we found. Um, I might have put them in this box, actually. Oh yeah, let's see. Well, I think I gave them. I think I gave them to the to the. Honestly, we don't have the prop. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> it's a bit. It's a bit. It doesn't matter. It's Fine. the first we don't show. Have the Pretend we watch. When I'll we just... edit the show, we'll edit in the part where we bring out a big dusty box, and then we open it up, and there's a picture. But, but yeah, like, yeah, we gave it to the director, and uh, I, I, you know, around the holidays, I get a little nostalgic, and so I found this box of old photos of all of us, and I started looking through it, and it just brought back a lot of special memories, you know. What do you got? And um, yeah, I mean, let's let's show this first picture. This is this is a picture that. Uh, Oh. I don't know if you remember this, Paul. I dug this one up. This was of a Christmas gift that I gave to you many years ago. Yeah, I do remember that. And uh, it is a silicon mold, silicon mold of your face and head. Yes, uh, which, this is a very unnerving. This is a very unnerving gift to get. Uh, well, you don't remember, but I, <laughs> I broke into your house when you were sleeping. Yeah, and I made a mold of your face and your neck because I thought it would be special for you to have something like this. Right, and and, I, and again, just like the Venom pool. Yeah. Uh, it, it free, oh, I just broke it. Well, whoever's gonna win this is gonna get a broken figure. Uh, and just like the Venom pool, it, it freaked out my family uh, that had this mold, and, and you said that you, you did stuff to it? Yeah, I mean, you know, I used to hide it around your block, around your neighborhood, stuff like that, and uh, I would, <laughs> I would, I would, uh... You never kissed it or anything? Oh, I mean, you know, I, uh, yeah, I mean, I did, are we allowed to talk about the stuff that I did to it? Probably not. But, uh, you know, one of the, my most fun memories is I would speed by your house, and I would do donuts in my car in front of your house, honk the horn, and then I'd roll down the window and throw that out in, in the yard. Yeah, a lot of times would land at my children's yeah, feet. Yeah, your kids would come outside, they'd be so upset. No, I, I didn't like so that funny. gift. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, yeah. just, the, seeing the picture brought back a lot of good I, I, I'm going to bring actually one of my old photos here. Check out this, uh, this photo right here. Uh, this is a, a photo that means a lot to me because it kind of shows where oh, we started. Yeah. You know, you and I, we started off uh, as uh, ski instructors. Ski instructors. Yeah. yeah. This was back in the 80s, probably, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, man. Those were the days, you know, where we, we didn't have a care in the world. We were living in Telluride, <laughs> Colorado. All we would do is wake up, drink beer, and go skiing. Uh, we were, I mean, we were ski patrol, and we were the only ski patrol that actually had weapons. We had nunchucks yeah. and swords. Swords, yeah. So if people 
people were going well, that's the too problem. fast. That's the problem with the ski patrol. No one really respects their authority because there's no, there's no, there's, uh, there's really, you know, you're not going to get in trouble with them. Yeah, you're, you're just going to like, uh, you know, but we, we were eventually kicked out of Colorado because we were, we were kicked out. Of, we have not been invited back to Colorado. Yeah, that yeah. was a rough one. That was yeah. a rough one. Um, Great photo though. Now I know you, have, you have a photo here too. I right? did. I, I sent you guys a photo. Yeah. yeah let's see what we got here. I still have chicken wings in my teeth. Yeah. Oh. Wait, 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 what is this? Whoa. This is my prom photo. This is oh, when wow. I went to prom with uh, Don Vito from MTV's Viva La Band. <laughs> you what? went to prom with Don Vito. He, he looks was my so date. beautiful. And he looks, you don't know, because on the show you can't tell, but his head is a balloon. Uh, yeah, it's but a you, very. <laughs> yeah, but you could only tell that if you actually knew him in person. And when we were in high school together, his head was a balloon, and then he oh. got all fancy. And Was that like oh. your first love? Is it really <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, he was so special. Oh. <laughs> that's really special. Memories. Oh, I love Don Vito. That's amazing. Oh, wow. That's Paul, you know what else I was thinking yeah. about the other day? Do you remember when we did that TV show together? That sci-fi show. Oh my gosh! Rob, I think we have a picture. Rob of, and I actually uh, started out doing dramas together. Yeah, yeah. We, we did a very dramatic sci-fi show called Battle Sector 17. Mm. And this is a still from it. It aired for a, about half an episode, I think. They canceled. They it. canceled it actually after the second commercial break. It's the first time they ever did it, and they uh, they decided to go to dead air yeah. instead of anything else. So the screen went just black. Color, just color bars. And the ratings went up. Oddly, the ratings actually went higher when that happened. Now that's uh, you in all that prosthetic makeup. Yeah, that that was me, and uh, you know I was playing a, a kind of a Klingon character. I don't know if you've ever done well, off brand. I would say off brand Klingon. Well, yeah, that, we got into a lot of trouble because legally you you weren't a Klingon. On. No, yeah, but that makeup was so hard to put on that uh, I decided that, you know, honestly, like the best way to kind of get over it was to have that makeup surgically uh, tattooed on my face. Yeah. Uh, and that was actually, that was really rough for me because... Uh, so that was permanent. It, well, it took a lot of lasering to get back to my normal face. To your normal yeah. face, yeah. I thought the show was going to last for more than half an episode, but yeah, it was a rough <laughs> one. Yeah. yeah, you should have checked with the producers before you had that done. You know, a, a lot of people talk about, like, the stuff, uh, my childhood, right? And I grew up in, I had a, a, a wonderful childhood, but um, my parents kind of did me wrong, did me dirty a little bit. And I want to show you a picture of something that my mom made me wear. Um, check this out right here. This is a picture my mom uh, had me get into here. Um, don't, this is me, uh, obviously, as a child, uh -huh. and that is my outfit. I think my mom was obsessed with this character, like Little Lord Fauntleroy. And Paul, that, yeah, Paul, yeah. you should not have shown this picture. This, you cannot erase this. Big, big picture. Get it all. I want to balance full frame, big frame. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at the chat. The chat says, like, what are you, a pilgrim? Uh, yeah. I, I, I look at that bow tie. I mean, now. I, I'm just a little lad. <laughs> Lord Farquaad. <laughs> this is, I mean, I think for me, you know, I would put this outfit on and I would, uh, oh, where am I? Hey, look, I'm over here. Someone oh. says you're the kid from The Omen. I, I am. I, like, you know, I would put this outfit on now and get in my Hyundai Tucson and drive around town. I think people would, it's like a driving scarf. It's a nice looking scarf. Did your parents ever dress you up weird like that? They did not. No, my parents took good care of me. Um, they loved me and they didn't try to humiliate me like that. Uh, uh, wait, was that like a special occasion? Was it like for a holiday photo or a school photo? Um, my, it was, it was actually something where I got dressed up and uh, for a wedding. So I think I actually stole some is I, I stole some um, some focus from the uh, from the bride, you know, a little bit there, I think. Yeah. Now we have one more photo that you have here too. Like. Oh yeah, it's funny you were talking about your parents uh, being mean to you. This is actually a really <laughs> sweet story. I had like low self esteem in junior high, so my mom took me to the mall and I got glamour shots. Whoa, that, no, that's a that's a real. I mean, that looks like you've you've been crossed by the devil or something. Oh no, that's how they do glamour shots at the mall. Wow, that is an that's an intense. I mean. That's an intense glamour shot. I mean, that's like that looks a little like a. I do mean, they still do glamour shots? I haven't seen that around. I don't think they do that anymore. Isn't that your character on The Goldbergs? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, uh, no big deal. I sometimes I'm on The Goldbergs, guys. Give it up, Rob. Thank you so much. Um, and how many to, and how many cast to. members of The Goldbergs are we having on to the show tonight? <laughs> I didn't get it, any of them. Um, oh, you got to call in those favors. Um, I I, uh, I used to do glamour shots on the Goldbergs, but yeah, I don't okay. do that. I don't do that anymore. Okay. Um, <laughs> what do, happened to your character? Do <laughs> now I do uh, timeshares. Okay. Okay. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do we want to... Uh, I think that maybe we should try to auction something yeah, should, off. Should we have Eva appraise this? Yeah, I mean, we could have Eva appraise this or your acrylic. Okay. Or maybe it's a two-for-one. I don't know. I mean... Uh, That's pretty valuable. I think we should All do right, that. let's do this. That's this is the brand great. new... Uh, yeah, so someone's going to want that. Why don't right. you take a look at... 
Okay, so this is going to, let's call this item number two. So okay. I, yeah, I don't know if he can stand with his own thing. I'll give you his box. Um, again, if you want to bid on this brand new Venom pool that um, my wife said had to leave the house, uh, you can, all you have to do is click on the right-hand side of the screen. There'll be a little bidding number here. And then what is the range that they're going to bid for this? I'd say between $6,824. Wow. And $8,129. Okay, so give it to us one more time. $6,824. Okay. And $8,129. Wow, that's a very specific range. I like that. And you know, I also like, we're talking a little bit about my wife. My and wife. My wife. You have to say it like Borat. Uh, my wife. And, um, you know, Rob, you are the godfather of my child. You've been yes. at my what, wedding. What is, uh, which which child am I the godfather to? Uh, his name is Twanch. Uh, oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, yes, Twanch. Yes, yes, yes. And, um, and, you know, I feel like you know my wife very well. I, I know my wife very well because we've been married. How well, how, how well do you know your wife? I mean, I know her pretty well. I feel like okay. we've been together for 15 years. Um, you know, we've been married for a long time. Uh, I think I know her well. Um, and, and, and you guys are currently legally married. We're currently legally married. Okay. Uh, and, and you don't know my wife at all. I didn't know you had a wife. See, there we go. All right. So we're going to play a little game about my wife and we're going to actually, uh, you know, we're going to play this, uh, with our guest Jerry, but we actually have a better guest here to play this with. Uh, this is our producer of the show. You've seen her on our Twitch stream a million times. Uh, she is fantastic. Uh, please welcome Molly Reynolds. Bring it up, Molly Reynolds. All right. Come on, Molly. Ba -na -ba -na. Yeah. Ba -na -ba. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Did you see our Hyundai Tucson? Hi, Hyundai Tucson. Good to yes. see you. Yes. Looking Hyundai beautiful. Tucson. <laughs> now, Molly, you are yes. filling in for Jerry O'Connell. Is there anything you want to say as Jerry O'Connell? Uh, watch the talk. Okay, great. Uh, great. That's yeah. good. All right, I like good that. <laughs> I'd like to say as me. Yeah. Uh, one of my jobs here is to uh, message with the talent, and you might think that I purposely set up Jerry O'Connell to not show up. Oh yeah, wait. But I'm. It. it, it it's not. How That's did it go down? Live TV. Did, That's live TV. Yeah. yeah. How did it go down? Did it's you like get the, the message from Jerry? Show, you know. Yeah, it's I got like the message from Jerry maybe like ten minutes ago. And, okay. And um, I promise it was not because I wanted to be on the show. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Interesting. It feels like you wanted to be on the show. Wow. So yeah, you didn't like slash his tires or something no. like that. Okay. No. No. He's fine. Jerry's okay. fine. Okay. All right. This is weird. All right. But you know what? You're, they're actually a very important part of this because Thank you. you actually created a bit for us to do with yes. Jerry. So like we said. Uh, Eva doesn't know my wife. I know my wife pretty well. Rob, you know my wife very well. Very well, Paul. And so tell us a little bit about this game. How is it going to go? So this game is called What Would June Do? WWJD. Okay. okay. I ask June um, four or five questions. She's going to repeat the question and give her answer. But before she gives her answer, I want all of you to guess what she's going to say. Okay. okay. And you guys haven't seen the questions or the answers. We haven't the seen the questions. No. We don't but know I know anything. June really guess. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have like three people who know June in very different ways. You okay. do know the answers, right? Here we go. Let's take a look. Oh, is there any sound on that? Hmm. Hold on. She looks hold great. On. She looks great. Everything's going great. We're going great. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we go. Wait, wait. Can we uh, now? Where are, where are we on the technical side we'll of this? Edit, we'll edit that out That'll later. Be it out. It's because I'm here and not there. <laughs> we'll edit we started that out it great. later, and it'll be fine. This Hyundai Tucson is beautiful. It really is a gorgeous. Okay, we have audio now, so take a look. Here we go. When boiling water to make when boiling water to make pasta, do you keep like the nice lid on the pot pause. or go lidless? Uh, a lot of the things, like sometimes. Here okay, here, here we go. Oh, no audio once again. This is a cursed segment. The Jerry O'Connell ah! segment is now officially say, cursed. June looks great. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. She looks great. We spent uh, the majority of our budget on hair, makeup, mm -hmm. and lighting just for this bit. And now they're not, we didn't get sound. No. That was one of the problems. We forgot to do audio. That's my bad. Again, I'm not sabotaging these events so that I can be in the hot seat. I love why, it. Why, why would you do that? There's, there, there's no reason for you to do that. We'll figure that out. Um, I mean, I did, uh, somebody pointed out I did get, I did spend a lot of the audio budget on Venom toys. Yeah. So, uh, that, you know, like, so, okay. So, Molly, we couldn't do the bit sure. with Jerry. We couldn't do anything with Jerry. Can I tell you something? Yeah. What we are going to do is we're going to give away this car. There's yeah. nothing that's going to stop us from giving away this car. 
I can I can tell you this, Paul. Yeah. I, you know, again, I don't get a chance to feel good about myself. Today, I went down to the grocery store, and you know where the guys like are ringing yeah. the bells. Yeah. And uh, you know, and I was like, hey, you know, you think you're a good person, and I shoved this person down, and I said, you're not a good person. I'm a good person. Well, again, I'm that's giving not. Away a car. That is really not. <laughs> I'm giving a away a car. You're not doing what I'm doing. You know, you're ringing a bell. I'm doing this. Okay. Well, again, that's yeah. not a great thing. Anyway, uh, we're gonna try it one more time. Sure. We're gonna try this bit one more time, but I won't explain it again yep. until we actually know we have audio. So here we go. Or not? Oh. No! Third time the charm. Now, I will tell you, it was a bold choice. We decided to do. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, oh all right, start from the beginning. so much about myself. All right, here we go. Wow. Again, we'll edit that out. Yeah. The June segment. We know it's going to work. Cursed segment. Here we go. When boy. Oh, never going to match it up. Pot or go lidless? What was the question? The question was. The questions were going to be so hard hitting. When she pauses. Um, and that I was going to have to reveal so much about myself. Okay. Okay. So what was the question? The question was, when you're boiling water, do you put the lid on top or do you go lidless? Okay. So this well, is the question, you know, a personal question, but we have to think about how June would answer. How June would answer. I mean, knowing what I know about June, she's got to watch the pot to mm. see that it boils. Even though they say a watched pot never boils, June's going to watch it, if I know June. Now, you don't know June. I don't. Yeah, so based on what you saw there, her amazing sound quality, uh, what do you think? Do you think that she's a person who puts a lid on a pot? She seems practical. Mm -hmm. I'd say lid on. Lid on. Now, I'm going to tell you this. My wife. My wife. My, my wife, wife only listens to murder podcasts. She is afraid of people attacking her at any given moment. And I would assume that by putting a lid on a pot, she then doesn't know what's actually in the pot anymore. There could be some, like a killer in the pot. So I don't think she wants to put a lid on the pot because it allows her to keep her eyes off of the uh, what's going on. It's like some trickery okay. could be happening there. So I'm gonna say June goes lidless because she's afraid to see uh, what's going on okay. in the pot. Uh, so that's those are our answers. You said? I said she watches it. Watches it, I say lidless, you say lid. Here we go. I, of course, put the lid on when the water's boiling. Whoa. And salt it up and throw that lid on. I can't believe so it. so important, though. We have a double burner, not to brag. <laughs> not to brag. <laughs> but it's so important to not watch that water and to just really walk away, you know? Start chopping something else. Start your prep work. Wow. Wow. So, Rob, she goes against you 100%. Yeah. Sure. Important not to watch. And then... You don't know her at all? Yeah. You got her. You got her right there. A all stranger right. knows. <laughs> I love that. All right. A stranger knows. I did not know my wife. I should know. We cook in the same kitchen. And I feel like she's lying. I feel like she was putting that on. I feel like she doesn't put a lid on that pot. But she does a lot of salting of that water. <laughs> um, all right. So next question. Let's see if we have sound this time. Let's see if we can get it real, real smooth. And bang. First celebrity crush. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, June's first celebrity crush. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go classic Keanu. Got to be. Got to be Keanu. Okay, so we got to think about, like, you know, June is a, a, a kid of the 80s, you know, so there's going to be a different, you know, era there. Like, we have to think back. I'm going to say that June's celebrity crush is older. I feel like there might be, like, a, like a Michael Landon from Little House on the Prairie or something like that. I don't... I don't know if that is like it. a father figure. That like that's well, not saying she's like a father judge. figure. I think something like a man, like a man, not a boy. You don't think Keanu was a man? <laughs> not in 1980. Now he's a man. Now he was a 14-year-old man. All right, I, you know, like I'm not gonna say that you're a child of the 80s, but you know, who, who's your first crush? I'm thinking like like hyper specific 80s Tiger B. Okay, yeah. Star of Lord of the Flies, Balthazar Getty. Whoa, Ooh, I like that. And that's my guess. All right, I am gonna, I'm gonna go one. All right, I'm gonna take my back from Michael Land. I'm gonna say Kirk Cameron, Kirk Cameron. I'm gonna go in that same thing before we started making all those movies where it was like, you know, uh, put God back in Christmas movies. Uh, I'm gonna say <laughs> Kirk Cameron. That's my answer. All right, what do I got? John Ritter from Three's Company. Oh, I should have. Inside me, for sure. Wow. Wow. I, sh I wow. was right. I was right that you older wow. man. I, I was wonder, right. Is it awkward when you guys bump into Jason Ritter? 
Well, now, you now go, it's going to be awkward. Are you guys going to be like, oh, hey, oh, hi, hi? Like, is she attracted to him? Well, I think that they're different people. You okay. know, I mean, I don't know, but I, I think I'm an older man. Were you ever like? I feel like I was. I feel like when I was a kid, I was like, I was very attracted to Punky Brewster. I thought that, <laughs> that, that, that I thought that in my life I would get married to Punky Brewster. You still could. No, I'm married right now. I'm huh. just saying legally you could. All right, well, Molly, who's your first? My crush? first crush, and maybe still Frankie Muniz. From Malcolm in the Middle, yeah. different era. Yeah. There we go. Guess who's here? Yeah. Hey, Frankie! <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> I booked the show. I would have <laughs> known. Wouldn't that be All right, great? this is good. Uh, what we're realizing is, we, we I don't know my wife we at don't, all. You really don't know your wife. I don't know my wife, but I do know my wife wants that out of the house, and so I want to see what we think this is going to be. What okay. do we think this? You've had some time yeah, with yeah. the merchandise. So. Uh, something that I was really impressed with is these these guys, mm -hmm. which are just right at like eye gouging yes. level. If great for if, kids. If there's a baby in the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, downside, flat little butt. Mm. No, can we see? Let's, yeah, let's see that little flat butt. I don't think. Oh. It, I mean, is anyone no. thinking about that? No, I think you are. You don't. You don't want a flat butt. Those, those. Look at those thighs. Those thighs can't accommodate how flat that butt is. Yeah, this came off. Okay. Um, shoddy workmanship. Shoddy workmanship. <laughs> no, it's very, very nice. It's very nice. I feel like it would be good in a house uh, with a kid who doesn't crawl. Okay. And doesn't um, touch. By the way, I realize that that's his tongue. Look at that. You were touching his. Tongue. Oh, is this his tongue? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that goes in there. That's Jam sort of his. Put it back in yeah. there. <laughs> that's like his whole deal. Okay. Uh, I I think I have a number. You guys ready? All ready. Ready yeah. for the number. Okay. Seven thousand five hundred and forty-four dollars. Wow! Wow! Seven thousand five hundred and forty-four dollars. Did anyone come close? Sean, get in here without your mic. That's way oh. more. Hot, hot off the presses. Hot off the presses. Oh my gosh! Here we go. Hot off the presses. Here we go. All right. Here Someone we are. Someone bid that high. All right. It is going to Kane Calamari. Kane Calamari. Kane, Kane Calamari. Calamari. You um, are the new owner. Of, of this, this Venom guy. Pool. Venom Pool. Uh, Venom you pool. will now be able to have this. If you have children, you can gouge out their eyes. It's uh, so moist, it. Kane. You're going to love it. <laughs> it's uh, really moist. It is. It really I don't is moist. know why it's moist. It's. I mean, that's the when you have a realistic uh, replica <laughs> like all, that, they got to be sweaty. They got to keep them moist. A lot of a lot of latex there, uh, you know. It smells like a car too. You know, like uh, you know, Rob. I know you're not like a, a super nerdy guy. Uh, I'm pretty, well, I like yeah. nerdy stuff, but yeah. I mean, uh, you know, your husband like nerdy stuff. Uh, yeah. Do you have anything like this in your house? No, never. <laughs> would you ever let that thing like that in your house? I would never. Where, I hate it so where, much. What, 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 what would you put that on? Like, where's Kane Calamari going to put that? He can't even stand up. Well, maybe he there's doesn't... a stand in here. We don't know. A stand. It's standing. It's standing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's doing great. We should keep that there the entire he'll time. Put it on his mantle. He'll put it on his on his desk. I uh, I guess it can it can live there. It'll be nice. Yeah. You know what? Um, and uh, I I like that. So Kane Calamari, you're gonna. Tell us where you're going to put it. If you're in the chat, Kane Calamari, tell us where you're going to put it. We'll find out where that is. By the way, I want to talk about this table right here. Yeah. This is a table. We've been doing this table, or we've been performing at this table the whole time. This is from Earwolf. Uh, the podcast company, Earwolf, they've done great podcasts like How Did This Get Made, uh, Who Charted, Unspooled. Uh, there's been uh, tons of different podcasts here. And everybody who's come through Earwolf has signed this table. Take a look at this table. This is amazing. This is from the studios. We are closing down the studios and we're moving over to Sirius right now. And this studio uh, is signed by Paul F. Tompkins, Bill Burr, Nikki Glaser. Uh, so many great people. I mean, Eric anyone Griffin. that's been on a podcast has Have you signed, signed this, this table? I did. All right, so your name ago. is oh, wait, on this wait, table. Wait, wait, So we're giving this away? We're giving this away. Now, this is a big, this is big. The legs come off. But I'm going to say this. If you live in Southern California, you'll get a chance to bid on this table because we want you to pick it up. We're not going to mail no. this table. This is a big one. So you need to be able to drive to L.A. to get this. Yeah, or live in, yeah, if you can drive to L.A. in the next day or so, we'll get this. And Susan Orlean is signed here. Uh, Mary Holland. Uh, so many great names. And there's a one-of-a-kind table that lived in there, that studio, for years and years and years. They were nice enough to give it to us. So we're going to give this away at the end of the show. So make sure that if you want to win this table, in the end of the show, you will get this. Um, so stay tuned for that. Molly. You're on the talk. 
You're yep. on Star Trek Lower Decks. <laughs> yes. You're um, married to Rebecca. I have a very beautiful wife. <laughs> yeah, you have uh, great kids. Six pack abs. And you have uh, twin daughters. Yeah. Your brother was on The Bachelor. Your brother was on The Bachelor. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so glad you guys know me uh, after all these years. We did our research for Jerry. <laughs> Jerry! <laughs> all right. Jerry! Give it up for Molly, thank everybody. You. Thank you, Molly. Great job, Molly. Thank you, thank you. All right, you know, uh, you know, Eva, at a certain point, you have to look at the table because there's a lot of Nick Weiger spills. I know you've been on the Doughboys. There are some spills, some water spills on here for how did this get played. So when you're, when eventually, when we actually start to put this together, this is going to be a, a big item for you to really Did kinda... you know that someone has made love on this table? What? Oh, my gosh. Who? <sighs> I can't tell you. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, I can't tell you, but I'll give you a hint. Who? Uh, well, okay. Uh, you. You. you uh, I can't tell you. Okay, it's definitely you. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a, a break in just a second. But before we take a break, uh, what we want to do. What do you mean we're taking a break? Where are we going to go? We'll take a break. As we do, we take a break. It's a live show. It's, it's sponsored by our amazing friends over at Hyundai. Uh, Give us when, a horn when, honk. when do we give this away? Soon, right? It's tomorrow. Burning we'll be a giving hole away. In my pocket. Tonight yeah. we give away the Earwolf table. Tomorrow we give away a car. Uh, we go from table to car, which is a natural progression, like the evolution of the human body. Uh, but a big thank you to Hyundai. But before we go and uh, have a few words from our sponsor, uh, you may not walk off tonight winning anything, but you will get a chance to control Rob and I. All right. So what we're going to do in the chat, we will say anything that you put in the chat. In our voice, like it's our original idea. Would you like to play along in this? Would you get to say? It wait, won't wait, be... wait. Someone in the chat, the people in the chat get to write something and then we have to say whatever they write? A hundred percent. It can't Is be that racist a great idea? Is or that a great sexist idea? or weird. None of the creepy stuff, okay? None of the racist stuff. None of the, none of that. It, it like, can be creepy, but not racist. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, so you uh, right now, write in the chat things that you want us to say. If you feel comfortable, we'll pop you in here as well. And... Um, We'll be right back okay. after this little commercial break. All right, so make us say things right now in the chat. Do it, and we'll be right back in just a couple of seconds. I think. I hope. Wow. Ooh, yeah. So, Rob, I was saying, like, you know, it's not really, it's not really live. It's just sort of like we're just saying it's live. It's all going to be pre-taped. So we'll edit that stuff. Oh, yeah, whoa. I would never do a live. Oh, my gosh. That, that's uh, Hyundai. What? What is it, Hyundai? Oh, Hyundai's <laughs> going to make us read... These things, that they, they said that we have to read these things. Anything that this chat wrote, we have to read. All right, uh, we got to do it quick because we have our guest almost here too. Uh, so um, I'll quickly, I'll try to do one right here. Uh, okay. All right, so this is all from the chat. The chat is going to make us say something. So uh, That's racist, skip that one. Okay, here we go. That's uh, sexist, skip that one. All right, here we go. Um, okay, I'm ready. <sighs> say something. Great, Did it. take a shot at this next okay. one. How about this? Hyundai is such a good friend. I don't know why there's a wink in there. Okay. You want to take a shot? Eva. You want oh. To, oh, yeah. You can say, yeah, get, get in that spot. Can you read that? <laughs> Would a vampire epidemic be called a Noah Ferriflu? Ferriflu? Wow. Great. This is great. The chat brought the heat they there. We the said heat. it. And I'll finally end it with uh, Gerog says this. Hot diggity dog. We got our brand new guest here on stage. Eva, who do we have coming out here right now? Um, her special, The Intruder, is out now on HBO, and she is going on tour in January. Please welcome Osko Akatska. Yeah! Osko. Yes, yes, Hi. yes! How are you? Yeah. Thank you. Ooh. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thank you for coming. Oh, my gosh. Good to see you. Come on, sit down. How are you? Hello there. Hi. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Oh, my gosh. What a treat. Otsko, oh. um, I, I was telling someone that um, you don't even know this, but um, I saw you at the airport, like, two weeks ago at oh. LAX. Oh, my gosh. No big deal. I can afford a plane ticket. And yeah. um, I was just about to come over and say hi to you. And, and then you kind of got like mobbed by some some oh. fans. And I thought yeah. it was so oh. cool. And you were so nice. You're like taking pictures with it because I thought like, oh, this would be interesting if she's like terrible to her fans. But you were so nice to them. I mean, it was they, watching. But they were like TMZ. so excited. It was really cool. Oh he was going to if you were going to be mean, he would get you on. Oh, TMZ I was showing yeah, you. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah, in case. Blackmail. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but oh, Spirit Airlines. But I was you psyched were, for you. that you like, getting... I think everyone's like wearing masks and people were like, oh, my God, like there was, you know, everyone knows who you are. <gasps> oh, my God. That's so yeah. sweet for you to bring that up. <laughs> I like almost forgot about that. I'm actually so excited to talk to you about so much stuff. But before we get into talking to you about 
your amazing special and what yeah. you're up to. Right. We right. want to see your junk, okay? Yeah, we want. Paul, you have to. The stop reason we for the season. Your junk. Okay. Well, oh, well, I, I think when it sounds good. When you say we want to see your junk, like it sounds, you know. You want to see my my clunk? <laughs> yeah, I want to see your clunk. <laughs> Bring out your clunk. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Show us your goods. <laughs> so I, I I brought a few things, but this is the main thing. Okay. I truly, I just don't know what to do with it. I think there's a better person for this. See, album. this yes. is what I wanted people you know? to bring. I yeah. want people to bring objects that they like. Get it out of the house. I, uh -huh. There's no room. It's, it's a yard sale. It's like I don't want this anymore. It, someone right. will love this. But for someone else. Yes, exactly. Yes. yes. It's not just like trash. I hope. Yeah. So it is. This is a uh, uh, a cactus. Yes. Okay. Um. It is dying. Okay. A little. A little bit. <laughs> okay. It's browned on the side. Sure, but that's yes, the that shows the age. But as you can see, the middle green. It's still green. There is hope. Then, yeah, right. This is a water, green. Water. Have you watered this? You know. When I first got this as a gift, yeah. <laughs> who gave? You don't have to say the name, but in was, who was, was it in relation to you? Like, was it a friend? Was it a coworker? Who gave that? To and you? on what occasion? Like, was it like I'm so sorry about the passing of your dog? You know, like, <laughs> it was truly just like, hey, I want to be your friend, and I wanted to be her friend too, so yeah. I accepted it, knowing, my God, I just killed, <laughs> I just killed a basil plant last week. You I can't don't, be trusted with it. But then she was like, it's a cactus. Everyone can do. Yeah. It. heard it yeah oh everyone like i'm everyone no I, I, like, I, everyone's so easy to be a part of i'll you know tell you this mean? much everybody who says you can take care of plants it's a lie like yeah. I, I i i did the thing i followed all the instructions it still died on me i got this thing it's dead yeah yeah no the basil plant too especially did you know when you have a basil plant you're supposed to be eating it picking picking it and uh, eating it constantly I yeah. did not or else know. it dies i did not know so that. it can't have too much leaves on it or else it dies so it was you're supposed to you're supposed to eat basil <laughs> Eat that much basil. All day, every day. <laughs> like, and people, and how, how is that? How would you know? Maybe you I don't, you know maybe that? I don't want to eat basil three times a day. Unless yeah. you're like working in an Italian restaurant, you can't use that much basil. Yeah, and someone, you know, yeah. Uh, someone was like, oh, make pesto. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I know. And but maybe you, I don't want pesto again <laughs> three times a day forever. But this right. is like these friends that you have. My, my dad has a fig tree. Oh. And all they do is give people figs. It's like, then it becomes a burden. I don't oh. want your lemons. Yeah, I don't want yeah, your yeah. figs. Like, but it's just, everyone's just pawning them off. Like, here, do you want some how figs? Many, okay, tell me, Eva, yeah. how many times a year do you crave a fig? <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many, how often are you really going, hmm? It's not an apple, no offense. No, that's right. Hey, look, we all know apples are better than figs. Chat, am I right? We all... Apple's better than figs. <laughs> Talk about it in the chat. Ooh, dang, people are getting real wild about <laughs> the figs. The fig industry People are really angry upset. about figs. Oh, yeah. I One think... person said it's rad. They have, don't they have dead wasps in them? That was a what? thing. Is that true? Figs I think, have... Is that they their whole thing? They think they might have dead bugs in them. Delicious. Oh, my God, I smell a new Marvel character. <laughs> <laughs> From the belly of a fig. Oh, wasp man. <laughs> well, so this, someone gave this to you, and now you're giving, going to give it a new home. Yes. Yes. That's yeah. so nice. It's beautiful. Let's uh, again, it it's Eva. hard to, to figure it out. Yeah. It already comes in a whatever that container. Is, in a container. It's yeah. not a heavy container. Um, a heavy does it container. like sunlight? We don't know. We don't know what. Yeah, do. we don't know. You would have to figure out exactly yeah. how to yeah. treat it's it. coming without instructions. So take a look at this. Okay. And again, if you want to bid on this, all you're going to do is move your mouse. Your mouse. Are you using a mouse? I don't know. You turn on your PC and oh, use your mouse so <laughs> and uh, click on the right hand side of the this screen so and there'll be a little box to bid. But we're not going to we're going to narrow it down for you. You can bid on it. But um, we're going to give you a, a price range. Like, based on what you've just heard, it's right. half dead. It was a gift of love and friendship. Uh, it is a living plant, which I think we can't give away anything living, but I think this is an exception. Yeah. Um, mm. what, uh, what would you say the price range is? A low end, it's going to be $1,422. The low wow, end? Low end. <laughs> oh, okay. High end, Hold I'd on. say 2602 Are you sure you want to give that away? I want, I want, can I get it back? That's it. Sorry, you've <laughs> already given it. You've already wow. moved it over here. It's already, now someone will be able to guess the price. Okay, okay. Oh that's my gosh. the range. That's People like, are pissed. They're saying, <laughs> huh? This is it. You know, you're going to be able to walk away. Now, I know you have some other things in there. Maybe we'll get to those things, but I'm more yeah. interested in seeing you've blown up in like the, I feel like in the last two years, I feel like you've gone everywhere and now your special is out, The Intruder. Mm -hmm. It's so incredibly funny, but what I think is more even cooler about it is that it's everywhere. Every time I turn on my TV, I'm seeing ads for you 
And like my wife, I don't think my knew, wife, my wife d- didn't know Classic. your stand up that well. And she's like, have you seen these clips? Like your clips, I feel like people are passing your clips. What does it feel like? I mean, like, are people responding to the special in a crazy way? Yeah, and it feels so great. Like, I'm so proud. Yeah. I love that it's like speaking to the people and some one girl was like, I'm watching it for the eighth time today. I know, yeah, that's... So it's like a multi-watch kind of special because I think there are things you can really miss the first time and it's like, oh gosh, I missed that one joke, that one tag the second time. Because there is a lot to watch, you know. I, yeah. It's a very uh, colorful set design that it's I went It's a beautiful to. looking show. Where did you tape it? I taped it in Brooklyn okay. at this club that you can really personalize instead of like a theater. Yeah. I love a theater, but it is very much someone else's aesthetic. Yeah. You know, someone who's yeah, now you, dead. Oh, dude. I, this, <laughs> most know? theaters are, and that's the thing that most people don't know. Most theaters are built by dead people. Yeah. And when you're in yeah. there, you're like, ah, it's a, it's a, it's like walking around. Like you have a, you've walked around some dead people's houses where mm-hmm. you're yeah, shopping. Yeah. It's got a weird vibe. No, where you go, hey, yeah, uh, you know, well, this is a great aesthetic, you know, to perform that for Mr. Amundsen, you know, yeah, or, right. or the guy who, it was great for him, but maybe it's not my look. I wanted to give people me. Yeah, you know? and yeah. I guess now, like, you're going back on the road. You're on the road right now, or you're going to be going back on the road in January, right? Yeah, I'm going back on the road right now. It's riding time, so. Now, so yeah. you have to go back with a whole new, like, that's the weird thing. Is like, people just saw your hour, and then they're like, now give us another one immediately. Do you oh, feel yeah. like you're ready for that? Or like, how do you feel? Because it's, yeah. yeah. No, it is, it's really fast where it's like, oh, what am I, I'm <laughs> gonna talk about <laughs> yeah. December, you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, you know, maybe the fact that my dying plant that oh, is now. You got 20 minutes right there. Oh my gosh, it's like, so uh, did, at the low end, it was going for a thousand. <laughs> yeah, a thousand. Uh, 400 yeah. something, now I regret <laughs> giving it away. Did somebody already win it? Is Not yet. We're, we're we're gonna give it. We're gonna oh. we're gonna come we'll back get to that. To that. Um, oh gosh. You're in in a lot of your videos on Instagram. I know people are obsessed with like uh, your grandma and probably your husband too, because they're mm-hmm. like in most of your videos, right? Yeah. Did, did those guys get recognized when they're not with you? Like if your grandma goes out to the <laughs> grocery store, are people like, what are you doing here? People have approached her because I started this dance called the drop challenge yes. where you yeah. just sort of drop, drop down yeah. slowly. Yeah. And uh, so people have seen my grandma out and about and have gone up to her. <laughs> To do that, <laughs> and, uh, and your grandma's an older lady. I mean, that and that's fine. She must be a little taken aback by she that. She thought she was getting attacked, so I had to ask people. <laughs> I was like, I had to ask people, hey, like when you see my dainty 87-year-old grandmother yeah. walking around, you know, like, don't do that. Like, say hi. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Don't make it weird. Don't approach don't her in it. an aggressive way. It's like right. uh, when I, uh, like, yeah, like I was on the show The League, and there was like this. Exclamation that people would say, like, right. uh, Shiva Kamini, <laughs> Somark, Zangar Krum. Like, they would scream it. Watch the chat. Yeah. The chat's going to go crazy. Uh, oh, well, they're yeah. doing it. Oh, they love it. And, uh-huh. um, love the league. Love the yeah, league. Humble they're, brag. They're humble brag. Yeah. Well, yeah. But, but what was happening when that show was on, and even to this day, people will run up to me yeah. and scream that in my face, right. which does frighten. It seems like I've attacked you. It's like, you murdered my, you know, it's uh-huh. like it's sick because they're not hearing the words. It just seems like a lot of yelling and yeah. very pointed. And it is, uh, it's unnerving for me. It's unnerving for people around me. Right. Uh, and that's, yeah, it's a I very, had, it's, a, it's a weird <laughs> thing like yeah, that. Yeah, the catchphrase. I had a weird thing like that happen. My, uh, my wife in real life, her name is Holly. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, I was on like a couple episodes of The Office like a long time ago. As long as we're dropping shows that we were on. Yeah, let's see no what they go. say and about that. The chat. Yeah. Okay. Love The Office. Yep. But, yep. Um, but uh, uh, my storyline on The Office was I was trying to steal Steve Carell's girlfriend, whose name was Holly. Mm-hmm. And so for years, whenever like I would go through an airport, like people would come up to me and they'd be like, you stay away from Holly. And like it really <laughs> like, messed with me. Like one time like a TSA guy said that, like a TSA guy was like, stay away from Holly. And I was like, my wife? Like, what is, uh, are, You know, like, it's really, a testament to the great actors that thank, you thank are. Thank you, we are great actors. That people think you're that person, you know what I mean? I mean, you have to be careful. You have to really be careful with the roles you get. I mean, I'm a comedian, I get to be me. So I'm always like, you know, like the character is But you're gonna be, wa- you're gonna be Wasman. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna pitch myself to be Wasman, yes. <laughs> where my origin story is that I fell out of the fig, yeah. out of your friend's yeah, yeah. tree. Yeah, ate too many fig bars. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm yeah. sorry, they cut you out. I come out with a full bowl cut. <laughs> Wasp man, you know? And, 
Uh, no, but the, the uh, character in Mad Men, you know, like the initial wife or something, right? People hated her yeah. as the actor, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you have to really hope you get a likable character. Yeah. Do you, have you gotten none of those, like, fun recognitions? Like, I remember hearing the story that, like, Steven Spielberg saw, like, Whoopi Goldberg's show. Mm. And he was so enamored with it. Yeah. He was like, come over to my house, my Christmas party, and do your show in my living room. Oh, and she oh, did what it. What? She oh. did it. Yeah. And, she, and then, 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 like, and, and then now? she got the color purple. And then it was <laughs> yeah. like, and it was like, she, yeah, that was. Yeah, no, uh, since my special, uh, Paul Shear said, hey, I'm doing this thing on Twitch. It was, your special is so good. Do you have any stuff you don't want that you just want to <laughs> You have blown. Hey, uh, this is Rob it. You can... will be there. You know, that's have you how ever you put... it. <laughs> You have blown up. <laughs> well, we want to do a little game with you. Um, and this is like, you know, look, we're in the holiday season. Mm -hmm. And there's one thing about the holiday season that I think, uh, you know, the most important thing about the holiday season is ultimately uh, how good you are as a rapper. Can you wrap a gift effectively? And oh. so we have a challenge. Yeah. We're going to rap with you. It's yes. a rap battle. Oh, Not, thank God yeah. with me. Yeah. 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 So bring out the wrapping I was paper. Like, what Let's are you do it. Okay, I'm and say, I'm good. I'm pretty good. Eva, at you're going to help yeah. judge us here. Okay. We're going to uh, we're going to have two minutes to wrap as many many objects as we can. Oh, okay. You know what? Yeah. Wild. For I thought you were saying we were going to rap like rap. Oh no oh, no, no, no. no! This is rap. Ba yeah. See, it's well, clever. Yeah, Would you like, prefer to do that? Rap while we rap. <laughs> no, I was like, I'm so glad you two are doing uh, it with me. Uh, Oh, yeah, no, we're if not going to make you rap. That would be a really uncomfortable... This is uncomfortable. like a stress nightmare for me. Like, the this people is... that work at department stores that have to rap, oh, I would hate They're it. heroes. But wait, so, so this, we is have, feed, this is a contest. Thank we have you. two minutes to rap as many things as we can do. We can yeah. we can mess with each other. We can talk while we're doing it. We can look at yeah. people's techniques. We have yeah. the same style boxes. Can we get two minutes on the board? Two minutes on the board here for us uh, to see what we got here. All right, yeah. two minutes on the board. Oh. All right. All right, we got two minutes. I'll, I'll tell us one. Wait, wait, I'll tell you. Wait, no, no, stop the clock. Stop the clock. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna give it, give it a fish. I'll, I'll say you start the clock. I, I just want to make sure we had. Why do you? Yeah. All, right. all right, ready? Okay, this can now put two dangerous. minutes on the clock. Oh, we can all just stop the clock whenever. Well, we I want. just thought we could start and stop. Stop. We're all right. Playing God here. Start the clock. All right, here we go. All right. Oh my goodness. All right, this is. Sorry. Get out of my way. I'm I, you, a lot you, of oh, I liked what you did there. You oh. kind of like put yours right in. Scissors. You idiots I kind of do it. one by one. Scissors? I do like a thing like this. Scissors are for suckers. Oh yeah, you see. A competition. All right, I'm gonna do this. You I've done oh so gosh. stupid. I've oh. done some good rapping in my time. All right, these are easy boxes to get. All right, here we go. What constitutes it being wrapped? I think as long as it can be presented as a gift, it's a. It's, of it's course. Yeah, yeah. No, that's all. Of course. Okay, so as long as it. We got a minute left on the board. Okay. Oh my God! All right, a minute left. This is already good. All right, Rob is barely there. Rob, is, like, what are you talking right. about? Oh, oh, oh! oh. Seven, oh. Seven, Pedro, Pedro, Pedro here. I'm even minute helping you. Wait. Oh, one minute left. One minute left. All right. Oh, okay. There you go. We're sharing tape. See, we're even working again. All right. Oh no. Oh, the tape. The tape broke. Ah, the tape broke. Damn it. There's this is no a, tape. There's for no me. tape. Where's the tape? Everybody, shut up. Oh, right here. Forty-five oh. seconds. Oh. How? Forty-four seconds. No. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. There you go. Oh one. All right. Now I do get out of my way. All right. Here. I'm going to get it. Let's see if I get out of the Can off. I get it too low? All right. Oh, my God. I'm going. Your, 30 seconds. Oh, 30 seconds. I'm going your angle. Up. There we go. There we go. Just wrap it all around. This around. actually. This, this is all right. Really that's good. good. I think we get oh, that. Oh, you know what? I'm ah, really this is a good idea. All right. This is, how many? How many more? It's surely right. got to be time. Right. That, yeah. Then we, 15 we almost, seconds. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. All right. 15. I feel like the time keeps going up. Ten, ah. Nine! Oh. Eight! Six, seven, seven! Six! six five, five! Four! <laughs> three! Two! Boom! Yeah! All right. I'm ready Happy to go. holidays. <laughs> I'm ready to go to the children's hospital and present these. <laughs> right, let's let's just oh. take a look at these. Eva, you've watched us rap. Yeah. Uh, right, like, like, present this. This is one of mine. I don't know, um, yeah. Paul. That was a rough. That was a rough one. Yeah. Um, That's for a neighbor you don't care about. <laughs> I put a little. I put a little cactus in here. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, this one I thought was a better. This was better. Yeah. A little better. That's little. for a neighbor you kind of like. And then this is my my final one. I oh, that is, one's pretty. That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty. Yeah, pretty good, right? It's pretty actually good. wrapped. Actually, yeah. it is actually wrapped. This yeah. one. 
falls into that category. Yeah. Let's see yours. I think Rob should go next. Okay, Rob, yeah. Next. Uh, I, 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 don't went, really. I went a slightly different method where I put all the gifts in one pile see, that's mm. and then wrap them all. <laughs> there was a point yeah. where we ran out of tape. So I pre I, I use the water in my mug to moisten it myself. Wow. And so then it self adhered. And uh, I don't know who uh, would not want something like this. It's soggy. <laughs> it's uh, it's not flammable. You know that. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, Eva, you know, what do you think? I think it's very efficient. Thank oh, you. Wow. The box is covered. Thank so. you. Let me guess, lowest than a thousand something <laughs> <laughs> as well. Yeah, you guys will get these boxes. We'll give these boxes. All right. Let's very see. Let's see your techniques. I, 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 I went with like a wrapped a whole thing around yeah. kind of a technique, but then uh, there was. There was only two tapes. The tapes, the, the we tapes. We can't yeah. afford so much tape, guys. <laughs> but that car, though. I blame it on Jerry O'Connell. <laughs> We're giving away a car. We of can't course. afford you tape. You had to cut in places, I understand, <laughs> with the budget. And so I, I truly, you know, I didn't want to fight. So I let the guys have tape, and I was only able to really wrap one. Okay. The, uh, okay. That then then. But what it's what's think? inside the present that matters. <laughs> It's true. It's pretty. Yeah. Yes. yeah. People say, you know, right here, not enough tape, tail as old as time. Uh -huh. yep. You know, uh, three scissors, two tapes, figure it out. <laughs> Someone uh, said, thanks, Obama. She's a hero. <laughs> it's, it's live. There is no tape. Uh, people are giving me the winner, but I'm going to let you wow. pick the winner of the tape, of the, of the, the wrapping challenge. Again. I mean, I think just for politeness, it has to be Otsuko. Yeah. Oh, oh my I gosh, agree. that's so Rob, you won too. Let me give you Rob. Thank All right. you so much. Two words, <laughs> gift bags. <All> right. <laughs> Someone wrote two words, gift bags. All right, let's off. push this off the table here. Get what? this off the table. Here you go. There oh. you go. Get it out of here. Oh. All right. Get that all out. All right. Okay. Wow. So we've given uh, Eva some You've time. had some time, I've Eva. had some time. I, I've used my various magnifiers, including the little guy. Have okay. you ever seen a plant quite like that? I mean, it's got like a very primordial kind of sprawl to it. Mm. And did you factor in like the potential of what that plant could become? Yes, absolutely. I mean, this, this could live for a very long time. Um, one interesting thing that I think really brought the price up for me is that I think this is cardboard? Yes, <laughs> I noticed that. I didn't want to make fun of it when I touch it, but it is cardboard. It's yeah, in it, a cardboard It, it looks like holder. it was going to be something more solid. <laughs> But it can take water too, that cardboard. It's kind of magic cardboard. Um, do we have runner up? Items? We will, we'll present them maybe in a second, yeah. Okay. Um, well, I think I'm ready to tell you guys my price. Okay. Okay. This cactus is worth. Get ready. $2,002. What? $2,002. Oh, Are you crazy? <laughs> this is so valuable. Sean, bring in the winner here, okay? Uh, He's going to bring it up. There he is. He's upset you're, about this. You're oh. the he's upset. No, he's, he's, a, he's carrying oh. in the winner's <laughs> name. Oh. All right, so somebody's at $2,000. This $2, is from the chat. This, All right. is, this is oh. real. But you know what real I'm going to do before I reveal the name of, of that winner? You said you brought some other gifts Who, or some other items. I did. Item. I you did. See what they maybe whoever wins will regret having. Yeah, we don't. We're going to give them. We're going to give out three because you have two other ones in there. I have two runner ups in here. So I do. So what do we got? Let's see what we got. Okay, this is. Uh, we have th this is nice. This is nicer than the. Uh, what is that exactly? This is a Japanese invention. Uh, it's called the Smile Lift. I think it's. You put it in your mouth? It's been opened before, but I didn't. Put, you put it in your mouth. Okay, I mean, it, can we open it? Just, yeah, open it. Open. Yeah, I think you have to open it. So, I, you know, it is a, it is a quote unquote medical device <laughs> in that it's actually to strengthen your. Uh, your jawline? Your really? jaw. And and I think you're right here. What are these muscles? Your mouth they're muscles. Dish. Yeah. Uh, my they're... mouth muscles are so weak. I'm always complaining. You about. said that someone has already put that in their mouth? So, so no, nobody has. Okay. So hold it, and then uh -huh. you just pull this string, uh -huh. and then you, you have <laughs> to pull this in your mouth, and it just vibrates, uh -huh. and you have to keep it in your mouth. This is not when... a medical device. This is, looks like might be for the bedroom. <laughs> I, I want to try I want to try it. Can I try it? I, okay. All right, I'm, you, you, we, it you vibrates. Open. Okay, here we go. Okay. Wait, we're gonna give this to someone. <laughs> well, we'll clean it out. Mm. Oh, go, yeah. go, go. No, you have to keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel it? Yeah. Mm. Do you, you feel do like it. your mouth just got stronger? How many times are you supposed to do that? You know, I, I, I mean, let's see. Facial trainer. Um. You look great doing it, Paul. <laughs> oh, it says at least at least three times each time. 
Oh, yeah, don't do it too much. You don't want your mouth to be too strong. What? What do you mean? <laughs> it worked great. It was amazing. It feels like it's working my teeth more than anything else. I'll sanitize this, but this will be for our second runner-up. And what's our final prize that you have here? The final, There's more? The final is uh, it's a Halloween costume that I try to complete one time. <laughs> I was trying to be, obviously, a mother. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> uh, they, you know, it just, uh, I don't need to be a mom every year. No, you don't. Can so I, I, can I just done. ask, is this, because I have no idea, is this a real baby? <laughs> here, this is how you check. <laughs> No, it's not a. If so you do that, if you do that and they don't cry, it's not real. Okay, that's how we tell. I don't need to be a mother every year. <laughs> well, that's, I'm getting rid of my child. <laughs> I love it. Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, so you're you're giving up your child. Does this baby do anything? Like. Um, no, it's not like a. Oh, it has a. It doesn't. It's okay. not as fun as the thing. It doesn't have a string <laughs> its like. Its mouth the, doesn't vibrate. The mouth toy. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Mrs. Mia Wallace, you are gonna get that cactus plant. Wow. Too many socks. You are gonna get this uh, yes. lip uh, teeth mover, and then Rocket Callie is gonna. It, it does actually make sound. What? Whoa! Do it, like, do it again. Oh, I love oh. that. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's for Rocket Callie. Yay, Rocket Callie, Rocket. you are now a, a, a proud parent. You're, you're, you're going to be a mom. Right? Wow. Oh, my wow. gosh. Your stand-up special right now is airing on HBO. Yes. And HBO Max. You can yes. get it wherever you want. You can watch it whenever you want. Whenever. Who you can watch it eight times. Who directed your special? Tig Notaro. Tig Notaro. Oh, great Tig Notaro. Tig, yes. She's so Amazing. great. And uh, we can see you on the road in January yes. playing theaters, Dead People's Theaters. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of I, dead saw you, I saw you on a giant billboard in downtown L.A. the other yeah. night. I oh. drove by, and there's a giant flashing billboard with, like, it's, it's like as big as this building. I'm not oh. joking. You're my best... <laughs> PR person because and I wasn't I, like driving around looking for it. I was like, oh my god, there's Otsko. I haven't seen that one. Okay, oh, you gotta I'll take go, a picture I'll go see. You gotta yeah, go down yeah, there and take a picture yeah. in front of it. You yeah, got it. You gotta do but it. It's on the freeway, right? It's, on, it's right on the wall. Okay, oh, that's yeah. It'll be like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Take a flat, <laughs> stop all traffic in all directions, <laughs> get out. Yeah. It'd be great. I love it. These two always have the best advice. Uh, <laughs> Otsko, watch her special. It's amazing. Catch her on tour. Take care of her baby. Take care of her plant. Strengthen your, your mouth. Lips. Yeah, there we Strengthen go. Strengthen your weak mouth. Thank you, Osco. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. You're, you're the best. Bye. Oh my gosh, you're so good. Thank you, Thank you for coming up. Bye. Bye. Thank you for Bye. coming. Oh my I'll gosh. He's here. Yes, yeah. we'll leave it here. You can, yeah. you can leave the bag. Okay. You can leave the bag. You leave everything. Oh my gosh. That We're going to sanitize Bye. them. A pleasure. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Woo. That was amazing. Paul, yes. I'm serious. Your mouth looks uncomfortable like unusually strong I've oh thank you thank you so i'm so happy the beautiful mouth uh wow that we've got that was people are bringing a lot of objects items a lot of cool uh -huh. stuff and i feel like we're really again i can't tell you how good it feels to help you know i'm just so glad to finally give back i you know? i mean i love giving back you know and uh you know, we have one more guest before we're going to get into giving away our grand prize for the night, which is the Earwolf table, which we said has been signed by so many different people. But we actually, we're going to up the game here. Not only do we have a guest, we're going to have a musical guest coming out. Are you serious? As soon as we hear from this Hyundai, the sound that we know. Oh, there it is. There is the sound. What's that, Hyundai? There's someone else here in at the show that's going to come on the show right now? Oh, oh my gosh. Who is it? He's got a podcast called Weird, Weirder Together and a network of the same name. Please welcome Ben Lee. Ben Lee, ben everybody. Lee. Woo. Hello. Hello. Yes. How are you? How are you doing this, buddy? Of course. What's up, buddy? How are you, man? Oh. It looks like I'm giving away a guitar, which I'm yeah. not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're not so giving away. We can put it in a nice area. Calm down, chat. You're not yeah. getting the guitar. Come I'll sit down. It. You're not. Okay. <laughs> that All is right. a, that's a serious guitar. This is amazing. I'm so excited to have you. And you, I think, I'm going to, you're here, so I'm going to tell it to your face. You may have the best item that I know that we are giving away. Because your item. Oh, you know what he brought? I, I, I do. Don't know. I don't know what it is. I, I know what he brought. Uh, can you show us your item? Just like, like, do you want me to show it and not say what it is? Yes, okay. that's a great thing. Okay, check this out. Okay, take a look at Wait this. Wait a minute. This is, all right, so just Wait again, we'll get a second, a get, get, get in there. So it's, it looks like a can of baked beans. It looks like a can of baked beans. But, but there's some. A good start. Yeah, there's yeah. some controllers on it. Now, I do know what this is. Can I ask, yeah. is this a hilarious explosive device? 
No. Okay, because that would be funny. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Any guesses on what you think this is? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, there's a, there looks like there's a little input over here, like a little input that you might... Uh, quarter inch, quarter inch cable. Quarter, quarter inch cable. In there, yeah. Wait a minute. Well, I think I'll look at it again. Okay. Um, okay, am I supposed to guess what this is? Well, you, can, you can, I mean, we'll eventually reveal it. I mean, but I think it's fun to see, yeah. <laughs> this well, is people really... People in the chat, what are people... There? Okay, people in the chat, mouse chat. Uh, it's a mouse tea trap. strainer. Uh, yeah, a Wawa pedal, an amp, uh, a bug trap, uh... microphone, guitar amp, uh, theremin, guitar mod, fart can, speaker, homemade mic. I think we got a winner here. It's... It is a... It's a microphone. It's a homemade yeah. wow. microphone. You made this no, microphone. No, 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 oh, no, oh, no. oh, you didn't make it. Okay. I bought it. <laughs> oh, you bought it. All right. I bought it, but um, I bought it off the internet. Okay, now why... Okay, not why, yes. but like what is the benefit of this microphone over another microphone? So you understand like now with digital modeling and effects and everything, yeah. anything can make... You can make something sound like anything digitally, right? right? But that... If you want to get the analog like the spiritual vibe of a can of baked beans. <laughs> you can't use... Like Led Zeppelin had that vibe. There was mostly baked uh, beans. Look, songs. there is a long tradition of baked bean microphones in <laughs> both rock and rap music. Um, <laughs> and in fact, on uh, Walk This Way, you know, when um, Run DMC... Yeah, yeah. Them, yeah. Part of the story people aren't, that isn't told very often is Rick Rubin, actually, the entire concept was because both artists were using baked bean microphone cans. Wait, are you being serious? No, not oh, at all. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, but, but, but how does but, it work? Well, it's, you just plug, uh, you, you, you sing in it here, push okay, the button, okay. and you send, it's got a little send here. Uh, and have you used it? Yeah, I used it on my record. The, my record, I'm Fun, that came out this year. I used it on a song called, can I swear on this? Is this a... uh, you can swear up until a point. So, born yeah. for this BS. Okay, so, you, uh, can so, yeah, you can yeah, say the whole thing. Born for this bullshit. Yes. Um, yeah. And, yeah. Woo! Yeah. He said it. Explosive farts. Um, yeah, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, you, I used it. And I, I just think actually objects like this are inspiring. You know, when, yeah, you're, sure, when yeah. you're trying to be creative in the studio and you want to like, you need inspiration, you need, uh, you know, just uh, unique objects and instruments. Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, I just loved it. It was not expensive, but, you know, in Australia and England, we have a grand tradition of baked beans. Okay, yes. In America, I feel like people are disconnected. And I feel like this is maybe the moment when we reconnect you're American bringing it in to the that beans. Be nice. I love it I mean look we're finally popularized them here we're finally finally, finally. We're, f we're, we're accepting soccer and now baked beans Come it's on. all coming we together just got into soccer now I would say that I mean look Camille brought a very Camille brought a very interesting one as well I, I, everyone's brought a very interesting one but this is used on your album yeah all right this is a one of a kind this is a, this is very interesting so uh Eva let's take a look at this any very questions exciting. you have about it um, you've recorded with this? I have recorded with it, so it has that. You know, On all the tracks or just one? Just one, just one track. And okay. how did that song do? Was it, it, it was. It was a single. It was a failed single. Okay. Uh -huh. So, okay. so you, get, yeah, you know, that's important. It's yes, important. a little because bit. Of, but, but a fan favorite. Okay. Not because of the mic. Oh, okay. So Don't blame the microphone. I blame the cultural climate. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, so we got a lot of stuff here. If you want to bid on this object right now, all you have to do is uh, scroll over to the right-hand side of your screen. There's a little extension there to bid, but you have to have some parameters for bidding. So what are we thinking this is worth? What do we think the, in the area? It's between $1. Wow. Okay, low. Of course. And six hundred dollars. Wow. It's somewhere wow. in that range. Okay, so we we just gave away a cactus, a cactus for two thousand dollars. And by the way, how much money have we raised? <laughs> oh, it's not for charity. Okay, sorry. I, I'd like to ask for an Australian appraiser. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are. Right, so we are. Right, my, so. my my entire career has been undervalued here. <laughs> by the way, we need some Australians. Uh, <laughs> it would have been so much nicer if this show had been for charity. We did not ever plan to make money for charity. You know, I think never. you know, but this is this is a this is a uh, reasonable price thing again. You have to guess the value of it. Yeah. Uh, we'll, this is a collector's item. But you I know mean, what's worth more than six hundred dollars? The look in your eye when I put it. that on oh, the yeah. table. Oh that's my gosh. priceless. By the way, if you're an For aspiring sure. musician, imagine recording on your microphone. Just imagine. I want to say this too. I know you said that you your career has been uh, undervalued here. I feel like you've had like a little bit of career renaissance in this last year, this last album. I feel like you've 
people have been uh, have been talking. It's been called a renaissance. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You know, I think it's that kind of thing because I've been making records for 30 years. Yeah. So you know how it is. It's like you do it long enough, you go in and out of fashion. Yeah, yeah. The phone's ringing. It's not ringing. And the wisdom that I've gl gleaned from all of that is it's way more fun when it's ringing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, it's nice when people like it. Yeah. It's way more fun. Yeah. What What do you think? Like, we were asking Atsuko before, like, when she knew that, like, or when people like recognize you, see, like, did you ever get like a fun call from somebody that you admire that just kind of, just called to tell you, like, I like your stuff, or I, or he had some like kind of. It doesn't have to be like, oh, they gave you a bunch of things or just like a nice recognition that you Yeah, did. well, it's definitely like, and especially in the Australian thing, like creative Australians kind of stick together. And when we were in the, uh, you know, when in COVID was at its peak, when you went back to Australia to get locked in a military hotel. Yeah, yeah. For two weeks. And the first person <laughs> DM me was Russell Crowe. Do you need any books? Whoa! You need to read? I'll drop some stuff down your hotel. We have a Russell Crowe story. We did, yeah. We had uh, several drinks with Russell Crowe. You could have to have several. We yeah. had yeah. way too many drinks drinks with Russell Crowe. Well, here is the, the problem with Russell Crowe. Lovely guy who kept on saying, well, you're comedians. Tell us jokes. Oh, yeah, that was a bummer. And, <laughs> and a bummer. that's like the worst. And, and then yeah. I, I was like, I got to come up with a joke. Like, I, I was racking my head and then we would tell him We bumped joke. into him at a bar. Uh, this is way back uh, when we first moved to L.A. And someone that we knew from MTV knew him. So he came over. Well, I'm going to tell the story. Was because it Sway? No. This is the worst <laughs> no. part about it. Gideon Yeager? So... <laughs> This is what we're having dinner. We're on MTV at this point. We're having dinner with the head of MTV, who is a lovely guy. This guy, Tony DeSanto, has gone off to do different things. And Polly Shore, oh, yeah. uh, the weasel, is at dinner with us. And, and Russell walks by. He's like, Polly! Polly, how are you? Like, and he's so excited. To see, Russell Crowe, so excited to see Polly Shore. And Polly Shore's like, I don't know if I know you. <laughs> like, he yeah. kind of like, like gives him the cold shoulder, and like Russell goes like, "No, don't you remember? We were on a talk show together. We we're on Australian talk show together." And like Russell Crowe is now hugely famous. Yeah. Polly Shore is maybe in that point where it's like, it's you know, it, it's you know, it's maybe tapered to a certain. It's like so, but Polly won't give him anything, and Russell's more and more like, "Polly, it's me, it's me." And then Polly eventually leaves, and then he's just sitting with he's just left with you guys, yeah, with yeah. Us. Yeah. <laughs> the dregs. Yeah, yeah. He was like <laughs> he didn't know who we, you know, he. There, why would he? And uh, so, yeah, so we had really just small talk and, like, many, many drinks with Russell Crowe. I, I vaguely remember going to the, to the bathroom at the same time as he did, and I was standing at the urinal next to him, and I thought, like, I just got to, like, I, I want to... Peak. I want to. I want to go longer than he goes. You know. So I just like. I like. I was done. But he like. Yeah. You know, but it was just like a thing where I was just like standing there, and like finally he was done, and I was like, I'm still going, man. Yeah. <laughs> like I showed him. I love it. You really you know? did. You he put him probably, in place. Yeah. He Between probably. Between you and Paulie, still, it was yeah. a humbling. He thing. still thinks about. That. Russell's awesome. Russell has a pub on his property with Guinness Whoa. on tap. Um, See, that seems like he's made it. It's, yeah, he's really, he's, he's done it the right so way. So are you guys like buddies now? Yeah, we are. We are oh, mates, cool, yeah. cool. And he was, yeah. we had, a, I actually, like, it was one of the coolest Hollywood nights because it was like, he was just fun. Besides asking us to tell jokes, which then I was like trying to Google, but I, we didn't have any phones that were good that enough You're to Google. You're Googling like dad jokes. <laughs> yeah. He's like, that's not good. This is a joke. <laughs> and I don't remember what the setup was. All I remember was like, you know that Jesus wasn't being attacked by uh, bees, because if he was, you wouldn't do the sign of the cross like this. You would do it like this. <laughs> and I, I don't remember Classic the setup joke. of it, but I just remember that, like that. I was like, that, and he's like, that's a joke. And we're like, yes, that is a joke. <laughs> that is a joke. <laughs> you can't argue. Come on. <laughs> but um, you also have an amazing podcast with your incredibly talented wife. Yes. Uh, and uh, this table, Ben, is the from Earwolf, which oh. does a lot of podcasts. I recognize this yes. table. Yes, I was going to tell you. Yeah, you might feel so yeah. many podcasts like wow, yeah. you, the I mean, heat coming off. Yeah. Well, I see Lauren Lapkus. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, um, you know, uh, it's been such a fun journey. I feel like podcasts are in a place right now where, like, music was when home recording got, it democratized the whole process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just the fact that people can do it, there's no entry barrier for cost. I think that's like, it's that's what, it, it's punk. It's like you have people that n did not have access to communicating this way. Yeah. Um, and I just, I, I love it. It's been I, I'm just yeah. noticing that both of you guys do podcasts with your wives. Oh yeah. I mean, and uh, my wife, has asked if I have wanted to do a podcast with her. Whoa. I don't think my wife is watching this, but I can I know just my tell wife. you, I'm not going to do a podcast with Whoa, you. Rob, wait, <laughs> Rob, wait. 
I'm not going to do a podcast. Do a podcast with your wife. I'm not going to. Uh, but you and your wife are, uh, your wife is Ioni Sky. She's incredibly talented. Uh, I have her, like, uh, a zine that she made, or yeah, an yeah. art zine, which is, like, gorgeous. But you are very creative people. Your podcast is really fun. You have, like, a really, like, you manage to kind of, I feel like, have this, like, real artist lifestyle, but you also are here in Los Angeles. You have, like, you keep a culture to you that I think is really fun. And listening in to you both on the show, I, I, I love it. It's a very intimate, yeah. fun portrait of, like, well, two creative... We just look at all of it as, like, it's all just making stuff. Yeah. And I think that, like, staying in that headspace of, like, when you're a kid, the, like, the feeling of when you'd bang on a drum or do a drawing or play, it's, like, it, it never needs... Obviously, there's business and... Free cars and yeah, all of that stuff. Free, free cars, free cars. Yeah. from Hyundai. <laughs> Hyundai. Hyundai's giving us a free car, and all of that can get a bit confusing and all that. But but at the end of the day, it's like if you stay connected to just making things with people you like. Yeah, there's a simplicity to it. I yeah. totally agree, and I'll tell you this much: no matter what, we've all we've all done stuff. We've all created. Uh, no matter how good something is, there's always going to be haters out there, yes. and and and. Um, I want to play a game with all of us here. A little a game about haters. I don't haters. like games. I've told Rob, you, Rob. I like a game. I like a game. I'm the Jimmy Fallon of Twitch. Uh, <laughs> the, the, I love Letterbox, which is like I don't know if you guys are on Letterbox. Letterbox is like this social media uh, site where you can kind of log all the films that you watch and you can review them, but you can also read other people's reviews. And like it's funny because I'll go and look at like great movies like Wizard of Oz and I'll click lowest reviews and like the review of like Wizard of Oz that gives it one star. It's like objectively the worst movie ever made <laughs> objectively i was like wow all right and then you know and then there was like you know there are like they they uh think there was like there was one of die hard and it was like uh this is like paul blart but not funny and i was like wow <laughs> wow like, like, so no matter what you make people will Someone's come, gonna hate it. come after it. so we are going to play a game right now it's called in theaters i'm going to read you the one star reviews for movies in theaters all right okay. so the movies that we're going to be on the board are avatar 2 the fablemans you can see it on the screen over here black panther 2 everything everywhere all at once and this is like a practice one i'll give you one so if i was say this review says too much water what movie would that be the fablemans black panther 2 avatar the way of water or everything, everywhere, all at once. Now we do know James Cameron very much likes water. Loves water. Loves, loves water. It. Famously loves it. Famously loves yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, apparently, yeah. 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 I mean, Avatar trying to keep one. away from it. <laughs> he's <laughs> always he's drinking like, water. He's trying to kill Kate Winslet. He's like, Kate Winslet didn't breathe for 15 Titanic. minutes, I think. The I mean, most yeah. hydrated director in Hollywood. <laughs> um, <laughs> Super uh, so yeah, wet. I would say that's Avatar. Yeah, we, we, we agree. Okay, we agree. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. All right. So now what I want to do, I want to open it up. Well, everyone gets to play. Here we go. Is now we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it to go. Okay. This is from Adidas Skate Queen, and Adidas Skate Queen says, "My boyfriend said I should watch this. Yeah, not gonna happen. <laughs> All right. So my boyfriend said I should watch this. Mm. Yeah, not gonna happen. Is that from The Fablemans, Black Panther 2, Avatar 2: Way of Water?" or everything, everywhere, all at once. People uh, put it in the chat as well. You can say whatever. There's a lot. Right now, it's pretty much equal. Uh, Black Panther is coming up a lot. Everywhere, everything. Black Panther is coming up a lot in the I chat. Would say, yeah. I would say everything, everywhere, all at once. Okay. Yeah. That's, that, that feels like a movie that her boyfriend would push that she might not be uh, into. It's not the Fablemans. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, 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 not like yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, the boyfriend yeah, would be like, you yeah. got to see the Fablemans. So what yeah. do you think? Um, yeah, I'll go for, I'm going for Black Panther. Black Panther, what do you think? I think it's Fablemans. Fablemans, all right. Mm, all right. The answer is, boom, Fablemans. Whoa. Yeah, it's Fablemans. How did you know that? Why did you think that? It just seems like uh, the funniest one. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I'd love to see a Jewish story <laughs> full of goyim. I also love that she's just like, yeah, not going to happen. It's like, like Tony Kushner wrote it. She's like, <laughs> I don't care. I not watch it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Now remember, these categories, you can pick it more than once. There could be a couple Fablemans in here. Uh, this one is, have money for a ticket, buy an effing pizza instead. <laughs> have money for a ticket, buy an effing pizza instead. And it could be any of these, even Fable if we've already said. Black Panther 2, okay. could be anyone. Avatar 2, Way of Water, uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. The chat's going wild right now. Again, it's pretty equal in the chats. Yeah. Uh, you know, so. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go Avatar on this one, okay? Fablemans. Fablemans again? Okay, <laughs> actually, you are all... Uh, oh, wait, wait, what did you say? I said everything. Okay, it's Avatar. Uh, Sorry, everyone got that wrong. Avatar. I said Avatar. Oh, wait, 
Was what? I right? Yeah, yeah I was right. I was right. Sorry, I got confused. All, All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Dodo writes this. I thought the raccoon was funny. I thought the raccoon was funny. Black Panther 2, Avatar 2, Everything Everywhere All at Once, or The Fablemans. Hmm. I thought the raccoon <laughs> was funny. I'm, so I'm going to follow the thread. Yeah, the thread. Yeah, if you can follow the thread, the thread you can lead you in the right There's direction. There's so many raccoons. Every everyone's going for everything everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Seems yeah. Like yeah. Like Every, what do we think? Galaxy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Raccoonie. Um, I'll go. I'll go. Black Panther. Black Panther. I think it. It's Avatar. Av- they thought Navi were raccoons. Oh, I like this thought. They I'm going thing. Fablemans. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, then you're all wrong. That What's was everything, that? everywhere, all at once. Uh, yeah. Come right. on. All right, and our last one. Here's our last one. Then we're going to get into uh, a musical performance here. All right, Just Us Heart writes, this is one of my favorite ones of all time. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, but I work in a cinema, and some dude just projectile vomited all over the screen, and I spent an hour cleaning it up. So I have determined it is the worst movie Ever. That's a real person. This is real. This is real. That happened. Letterbox. Who watches a movie and reacts <laughs> that like goes up to the screen? It's just like, <laughs> you like could have been somebody like not not not. They the could screen. have not have been. It could have just been a, a cold or. It's something. a small theater though. It's not IMAX. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, oh, viewing the distance oh. from the screen. Okay. I'm also gonna put out there. It says cinema. You know. Uh, so you know. Yeah. I, we think about it like that. Everything okay. everywhere. All right, so here, everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, I'm going everything, everywhere, yeah. Fablemans. Fablemans again. <laughs> you are all wrong. It's Black Panther 2. Oh, no. Black Panther 2 makes someone puke all over a screen. And this person didn't even see it. They just cleaned up puke. All right, so that's a little bit of a letterbox game. That game was impossible. It was, it was tricky. Uh, but you did. I, I liked your thought process on it, and I should have made them all Fablemans. All right, so we've now, looked, we've now looked at this can of beans. Okay. We've been able to examine it. Have you really taken a good look at it, Eva? Yes. I mean, okay. there's like, here's the thing. Some of this stuff's glued on, and there's very It's all visible, glued on. It's, it's all visible. Yeah. How would you make a microphone? Glue. <laughs> wow, look at a little <laughs> feedback here, right? But you won't get feedback from that microphone. Um, the uh, the calories are. Uh, wow, we're looking at calories. The calories, yeah, it's 355 calories per 100 grams. Uh-huh. Um, that's kind of that's kind of fun to know. It says energy, which is you know the yeah. protein. Yeah. Um, I think I have an answer. Okay. I think this bean microphone is worth one hundred dollars. Whoa, one hundred dollars. Sean, come on out here. Let's see who's won this. One hundred dollars. Uh-huh. Uh, who got closest to here is Sean comes out with it. We got to like- be careful shipping this. This is a delicate piece mm-hmm. of yeah. We're going to ship this the right way. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This goes to the number one prize. Uh, a loyal friend zone fan. This guy I know. This guy I know won the microphone. This guy that, I know is the name of that's the, his name of his okay. thing. Do you want to say anything to this guy I know before he takes your microphone from you? Use it in good health. Um, beans, beans, the musical fruit. You're gonna, it, it's coming to fruition. Uh, yeah. Now you're gonna do a little. I'm gonna, gonna do a song. Young, you're gonna song. So as you get prepped for that, yeah, uh, or yeah. if you, uh, we're gonna talk about this table. Oh wait, let me just say one thing. Oh yeah, please, I have yeah. two gigs coming up. Oh, we're gonna, pl- we're gonna plug it. Oh, we're oh, gonna, oh yeah, 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 no, we're gonna, we're gonna get, we're gonna right. Plug city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. No, no. Um, but, all right, so uh, as, as Ben gets set up, I want to talk about this table. This is our grand prize for tonight, this Earwolf table. This is one, this has been signed over the course of years. Nick Weiger spills. You can see the shadows of, uh, you can see the shadows of microphones. Aaron Hayes. Uh, you Paul can see F. Tompkins. All the drawings, all the writing. Some of this stuff maybe not acceptable to even show on TV uh, or streaming. Um, Eva, you've been looking at it. Mm-hmm. We're going to make uh, a determination on this. If you live in Southern California and you can get this, we're going to give you first priority. So your uh, say your price and LA next to it, and we'll know. And if, that, if you're close and you live in LA, you can come get this tomorrow. You have to put LA next to it. Uh, or, yeah, let's okay, yeah, price okay, and LA okay. next to it. Or, or if Great. you can't do that, we'll figure it out. We'll figure. No, you can't do that. I'm being told off camera you can't do that. That's okay. Just put your price in it, and we're going to assume that you're only bidding if you can come pick it up. All right, so. You're going to determine the price of this while Ben plays a song. We're going to watch Ben, and then we're going to hear where he's Where am I going? We need the range (laughs) first. Oh, oh yes, we do need the range. Yes. It's between $8,200 and $9,500. Whoa, okay. I love it. There it is. One more time. $8,200, $9,500. And to bid, make sure that you click on the right-hand side of your page. There'll be a bidding option there. You can start your bidding now, but now... 
The floor is yours. We have a Where nice do we little, want Ben to well, be? Well, we have right, right here. We have a nice yeah. little oh, here, mark. Oh, here comes right a microphone. Oh yeah, we got a mic coming for you. And uh, we have a little mark if you want to sit. Hit this oh, mark perfect. right here. Brilliant. And we'll uh, and we'll give you like a beautiful uh, a lighting. Should we have a lighting change for Ben? Wow, I know we have some dramatic lights. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, look at this. This is gonna be great. This is our first musical guest. All thanks to Hyundai. Uh, this is it. All right, here we go. This is a brand new song. I, it's, I haven't recorded this yet. Oh, can you take a step back just a little bit? There, yep, a little bit. Sorry, we'll get it. Okay, here we go. How's that, guys? Guitar? We're going to hear it? Feels good? I'm listening to the my director here to see if we we're going to get it. Right, we feel good? We need, we have these earpieces in. Hold on, we're going to make sure, we're going to make sure this is pro. Not going to make, this is not, are they giving it? They said give us a second. We get to watch you tune up. We get to feel connected to you. I feel, I feel like I'm a Navi here in the background, swimming like one of the beautiful whales in 3D. Uh, keep tuning, keep tuning. We're good, we're good. He looks good. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, well, welcome back, Ben Lee. Thank you. Let's get this monitor up. All right, bring that up in the monitors a little bit. Thank you. Okay, here we go. It's a brand new song. Can't even say what I believe in anymore Everything has changed but it feels just like before Still pulling on Christmas crackers Trying to get the bigger half, yeah It started slowly, such a primal violent feeling Growing like a tree that bumps its head into the ceiling Let's talk about it over a beer I'm right here, just thinking about the way we were, the way we were, the way we were. I know it's impolite to yell at passing strangers, I did it for a year or two, hell we all go through phases, wearing that crown of thorns. Wishing that I'd never been born, yeah. It's a. Uh, uh, the lyrics, the lyrics, uh, okay. Turning it. away is just another way to hustle. Sitting on your own, baby. Flexing your muscles. Pray to God to make me more uptight. I'm alright, I just can't believe the way we were. The way we were. Not a secret, I'm a trick you want to manage Wreckage in my past, all that collateral damage The ordinary world depressed me You surely can't hold that against me It's not a secret, I like sugar with my poison I saw you up on stage, yeah, baby, you destroyed them Isn't that what it's all about? You freak them out you got to love the way we were The way we were The way we were And as for us, we've learned to love the cake we're baked in Destiny's a recipe, there's really no escaping I still don't know if we were wrong or if we were right But what a fight Gotta love the way we were 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 Yeah! Oh my God! Yeah! Ben Lee! Brand new song on this show. This is amazing. Now, uh, for people that want to see you, you are playing January 17th here at the Moroccan in Los Angeles. Yes. Uh, and then you're going to be in uh, Berlin. Wait, you're going to be in New York City? New York City, Berlin Under A, the club is called. Okay, Berlin Under A. Uh, we have this up on the screen. You can see it right there. Look so at that. January Look at 17th. That. Yeah. Uh, Great song, and Thank you. That was awesome. So I love that. We have a lot of people are going crazy in the chat. One, people did, one person did ask, are you the dude from IT Crowd? 
No, but people always think I'm in. What's that guy's name again? Uh, his name is, I know it's a, he's in Bridesmaids. Uh, um, Chris O'Dowd. Chris O'Dowd. Yeah, Chris O'Dowd. O'Dowd. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a weird doppelganger. Yeah, okay, so, so you are not yeah. Chris O'Dowd. Yeah. But uh, you are going to be with us right now as we announce the winner of this table. Oh, uh, who's the winner of the Eva, table? what is the price of this table? $8,753. $8,753. Get that on the board. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to pull it over here. Who All is right. it? Here it is. The winner of this table is da -da 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 -da, DJ Crab Hat. Whoa. DJ Crab Hat. This is yours. You get it right here. You can walk away with this table. Literally, wow. you have to walk away with it. We'll give it to you at the end of this show. And uh, people, tomorrow, we're going to be giving away this shiny woo! creature. Yes, right yeah. there. The beautiful Hyundai Tucson. Someone's going to get to drive off in that. But a big thank you to Kamel Nanjiani. Uh, like, we Let's thank go. Uh, like, what? <laughs> oh, it's Otsko. Uh, uh, yeah, Otsko, <laughs> Ben Lee, we do not, where, what camera I'm at? Where are you over there? Come here. Not Jerry O'Connell. No <laughs> thanks to Jerry O'Connell. A big thank you to Little Cinema and the Twitch production team. Thank you, everybody, for coming out here tonight, watching it. We'll be back tomorrow from 4 to 6 Pacific time with amazing guests. Thank you, everybody. You're going to get yourself a car. Hyundai, Tucson, do it. See you all tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow night. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. We did it, we did it, we did it, we wow. did it.